Good evening, welcome to a very special AM stream. Good and welcome this Friday evening to the Lightful Show. It is the Amstrad CPC's birthday week this week, so we couldn't let that pass by without having a bit of a fun special AM stream tonight. Celebrating the Amstrad CPC's 39th birthday. Well, I always, well, 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 technically, I suppose it's birthday would be in June when it was actually went, went, went first on sale in a Rumbelow store down in London on June, I think the 21st or 23rd, but it was launched to the press on the 12th of April, 1984, um, we're now the 14th of April, so it's two days after, but, you know, it was Friday Am stream, innit, innit? So, it was launched 39 years ago this week, so, um, hey, we got to have a, oh, I shall, I, I shall put alerts on, sorry, 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 let me just say hello, uh, just do the quick intro in the, to the stream, and, um, I'll get that, I'll, I'll get back to that in a second, I'll replay that in just a second, so, um, tonight is a special Amstream celebrating the best of the Amstrad CPC 464 through its games and music, there's no theme tonight, we're not tied to any theme we're not just purely doing ocean games or games from 1984 or we're not playing one particular game for the first hour of the stream because it's a new release or anything like that. So it's just purely great games and lovely nostalgia. We'll be playing some of the best games on the Amstrad CPC 464 from the earliest to the newest home proof. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen that just come through. I'll replay that in just a second. And we're going to play some real classics, bangers, and some hidden gems. I'll be taking your suggestions and requests from the chat. And later, we'll be playing some community games where you can join in. We've named that Am's Tune. Guess the Amstrad game music returns. That was a lot of fun a few weeks ago. And plus, we have a very special birthday present from Jonah. Is he in the chat? Yes, he is. Would be, uh, we got a very special birthday present from Jonah, aka uh, Sutek of Epitia. That's your sort of Amstrad C name, isn't it? I've probably not pronounced that right. Jonah goes under many, many names. He has a special present for all of us to unwrap tonight. Yes, you can have it too. We'll be doing. We will be unwrapping that in a few minutes. Hang on. We had something arrive in. <laughs> We had something happen on the stream. Let me just do this. Admir Admiral Akbar 464 has, an has denoted a 464 dono. Good grief. Thank you, Admiral Akbar of 464. The Amstrad CPC is the great age of 39, 39 years old and still in its prime. The Amstrad community has no fear, with dozens of homebrews every year. Aww. Happy birthday, Amstrad CPC. What a wonderful rhyme there, and poem and song. Well, thank you, Admiral Akbar 464 from Star Wars there, no less. Thank you very much to 464. That was... Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Thank you, dude. Exclamation mark bananas. Oh, actually, exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for the 464 there from Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. That's very, very kind of you, dude. That's thank you, dude. You're so generous, Man Shovel. An absolute awesome and rocking dude there. Thank you, Man Shovel. Oh, and also we had Dang Ling Wang. What? 
What the fart? Who is Dangling Wang? I have been looking for art to this stream for many years now. Who a good boy and will receive many blessings at Xylophone San. Please call me Senpei. Please call you Senpei? Dangling Wang, thank you very much the one pound, Dangling One. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. It's from the um, account that has no email address and name attached to it. So I have no idea who that was. That, I, that was either Flibble or FTP Mad One, Kev. So Flibble or Kev, thank you very, very much. <laughs> Bananas in the chat for Dangling Wang. It's either Flibble or Kev. Thank you, Flib or Kev there. Bananas in the chat there. It's a trap. It's a man shovel. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, we'll see what, which name pops up in the chat there. Right. Shall we uh, unwrap? Oh, well, hang on a second. Cam, <laughs> Cam Elto. Oh, no. The silly ones are arriving. Loving the stream already, but I think that last donation was obviously a troll donation. I think it was, wasn't it? It was a very silly name. It was a very silly name. Thank you, Cam Elto. That was either Flibble or Cave Mad One. Thank you, Flibble or Cave Mad One. Even some bananas in the chat. Thank you, thank you. Right. We're going to go to the greetings. And also, I think I think we will unwrap the special birthday present, I think, tonight. Oh, my view count's got stuck again. Boys and girls, would, shall we um, unwrap the special birthday present from Jonah? I think we should. All right. Jonah has made a very special thing for us tonight, boys and girls. I'm going to take off the thumbnail. And whilst this is... Oh, God. Scott Scotch Egg Yes, very clever <laughs> No more silly names No more silly names Thank you Scotch Egg I know who that is That was Mr. Dave Velociraptor Velo Thank you Velo Actually Actually while we got a lot of people here, I'll do this. I'll do this first. Velo, thank you, Velo. Bananas out for Velo. Before I do this, while we got people on the stream very quickly, um, very very quickly, I've got a quick announcement to make. I've got a quick announcement to make. I'm going to mute alerts just for a second, so this this doesn't get interrupted. <laughs> Hold off on donos if you do. If you're about to do a silly one. Because I'm going to do a quick announcement. It's going to be very cool, very quickly, and exciting. Um, I'm very honoured, and I'm actually blown away because they've um, cause little, cause it's little old me, and I'm like I'm like a mere tiny little ant in the big scheme of things on like the YouTubes and stuff. Um, put in your calendars for tomorrow, and put an alert on your alarms and stuff if you can. Tomorrow. I'm going to be making an appearance on this. Hopefully, you've heard of this. You should have done. This Week in Retro podcast with um, our retro... Oh, I say, RMC Neil. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, Retro Man Cave Neil with like, like a million, million subscribers. And Dave Velociraptor on the, pod on the podcast as well. Um... Tomorrow, um, going live at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, yours truly will be on their show tomorrow, their podcast. Um, just recently, they had LGR Lazy Game Reviews as their special guest. You know, him with like a million squillion subscribers. And little old me <laughs> is their special guest tomorrow morning. So at 10 a.m., my, my episode with them goes live on This Week in Retro. So if you've never checked out their awesome, awesome podcast, which is excellently presented, 
not just in the, the standard podcast where you just sit down and listen on like Spotify or whatever. It's a proper, proper, fully produced thing with video, and it's so like fantastically edited. Is everyone going to see? There's Bello. Look how look, lovely Bello is there. In retro. I better not play too much, otherwise I'll get um, copyright strike by them. There's the lovely retro RMC Neil. And it's so excellently edited and produced and stuff like that. So I'm their special guest tomorrow with a whole range of interesting topics, including the Amstrad and all that kind of stuff. And I also will be having... Um, there is actually some Amstrad content, which uh, I brought on uh, as a bit of a video thing there as well. And all sorts of stuff will be um, happening on that. So check that out. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Sorry for the plug. But um, I'm pretty excited by it. And hopefully I don't come across like a complete div. Because, um, yeah. Uh, this is completely out of my comfort zone, boys and girls. It really, really, really is. Um, I'm quite happy being in my own little zone here. Talking to you lovely boys and girls. Um, you're my friends. You know, I've got used to this now, but coming out of this and being on someone else's thing, surrounded by giants like Neil and all that, is lovely, by the way. Absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely man and bloke. It's um, it's very, very scary. Uh, I, as you boys and girls know, I suffer from anxiety quite badly, and I've, I've, I, I, uh, I've struggled it for, throughout my life. But I've always um, tried to break uh, beat it by breaking out of that by saying yes to stuff I would normally would have said no to years ago and um, so I've always just gone where I would normally have said no I've said yes made myself say yes to stuff and try to break out of it and, and I said yes to this but everything inside of me was, was screaming no 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 it's too scary um so um Thanks for being on stuff like Retro Nim Live. It's given me a little bit of confidence. So I said yes. I hope that I don't come across too much of a... Uh, yeah, whatever. So, there you go. I'll stop uh, stop delivering there. Oh, we had a thing come in there. Hang on. Arnold! Arnold! Thank you for the three pounds. And we will get to some games very shortly. I promise. Sorry. Sorry. I know people have tuned in for gaming, and I will get to that. Sorry, sorry. Good things are timeless. Oh, Arnold. Thank you very much for the £3. I'll, I'll work out who that is in just a second. That was Chiefy. Chiefy, thank you very much for the £3. You absolute legend, Chiefy. Thank you, Chiefy. And hold on, Mike Ox. Mike Ox, yes. Very clever, very clever. Have you ever thought that combining Katniss and Peter from Hunger Games will give you either cat pee or penis? No, I haven't thought of that before, Holden My Cox. Now, was that Mad One or Flibble? I think that's Mad One, isn't it? Thank you again, Mad One or Flibble. Uh, thank you, Bella. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Oh! Thank you for the one bowed. I'm going to say that. I reckon that's Kev Mad One. Mirko, thank you for the lovely message there. I'm missing so much chat, guys, because I've had to talk so much. And I'm sorry I'm missing so much of your messages there. There's some lovely things you're saying there. Thank you, Nivrig. Thank you, Man Shovel. Mirko, that's a lovely thing to say. Thank you, mate. You are a lovely bloke as well. I love your positivity and, and kindness, Mirko, as always. Uh, Velo, cheers, mate. Thank you. You're very kind of you to say that. Sorry. Um, no, I haven't, Blue Planet. I'll always be here. I think I'll always have this size audience. And I'm very, very grateful and thankful for it. And I think we're just about the right size to keep it personal and intimate. <laughs> it sounds like a, sounds a bit rude now. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um... <laughs> Man, sure. No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, cheers, Mike. I haven't, but like... Um... It's nice to be invited on something like this, so uh, it's cool. It's very, very cool. Very cool. Intimate, eh? Technic oh, right. Birthday present. A birthday present from Jonah for, uh, I guess, to celebrate tonight, but also for everyone here tonight. 
Oh my goodness, there's another thing coming in. I'm so sorry. There might be new people here tonight that want to see Amstrad games. And, um... And, like, they're wondering, like, what's get, What's get? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's not good. I'm going to play this in Retro Virtue Machine because it has better sound. One second. Wait, I'll wait for this to come through. And then, um... Shoot, where, where's the disc file? Johnny Pie has donated one pound. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Boy. Stop making me cry, you bully. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Boy. I don't know. Is that the real Johnny Boy? I don't know who that Johnny Boy was from. That Johnny Boy don't know. But thank you, Johnny Boy. And Mike Gammon. Holy crap, Mike. Jesus. Thank you for the 464 through the super chat there. Says you're a top man, Zypho. I'm not crying you. Oh, bless you, Mike. Bless you. Oh, I found the disc. I found the disc file. Mike Gammon, you absolute legend. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very, very much. You can have some bananas raining down for Mike there. Thank you, Mike. Uh, there's the link again for the podcast. And can you swallow? No. Not for you, Kev. Not for you. Right, then turn off those silliness. I but just came here for the joke names and because I was told that I could see a naked Ewok if there are enough donations. <sighs> Good grief. Thank you, Kev, for the one pound and the joke names. Thank you, Kev. Thank you. I'm sorry, chat. I, I'm missing so much chat here. Right. Without further ado, here's the very special uh, present from Jonah. Okay. Are we ready? And my view count's got stuck again. Great. Okay. So this is from Jonah, a.k.a. Um, how do I pronounce your freaking name again? Sotek of Epi Epitia. All right. Jonah. Are you still here, Jonah? I hope you are. Right. Okay. He has made this for all of us tonight. Sotek of Epitia is proud present. I've got a mute alerts here. The Amstream music disc. The first in a probably very short series of music discs. Each one continuing uh, conti uh, con uh, containing of six tunes converted from either the Amiga or the C64 to the CBC. Ooh, it's crunchy, says Velo. Please press the space bar to load the main part of this music disc. Now, I haven't seen the rest of this yet. I've kept it to myself. The tune playing now is called Shiny Coins for Rainy Days and is an original piece written by me while completely off my trolley on Cronenberg 1664. Jonah! Never! Says, Oi, Mad One told me you've been blaming me for Troll Dana skin. Stop that. Stop that once. Filthy, not even a proper Ewok. Problem is, you're, both you and Mad One on my phone, both you and Mad One, your, your donos are hidden on like the PayPal emails. You're the only two people that happens for some reason. Alright, Jonah, I'm going to skip forward from this awesome music so we can get to the main disc, okay? You ready? Alright, here we go, chat. Here we go. Oh! 
Jonah, you got the Amstream logo there. An Amstream production. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, freaking A. Look, he's got, he's got... He's got my background in... It's, it's, it's like Amstreamception. An exclusive collection of well-known retro gaming tunes converted to the Amstrad CPC by Suttek of Epitur. I'm Stroud, man. I will, I will unmute alerts in just a second. Uh, this was developed after my... I am not a Jerome. Actually, let's play, put a tune on. Sorry. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Uh, let's go Turrican 2. That sound, oh, that's probably good. Oh, oh frickin' A. That's brilliant, Jonah. Hey, so it looks smooth as butter here, mate. It looks good. We could do this at the start of like every am stream now. Call me boys and girls. Sorry, I will. I'll, 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 I'll unmute lurks in just a second. You put a Commodore balloon. There's a Commodore balloon. What's that doing on an Amstrad? <laughs> Very nice demo. Can we get this up on Puet? Uh, boys and girls. Uh, I will put this file in the Discord in a little bit, actually. I'll put it up. I'll put it in there later. Yeah, if you want to ask uh, um, Jonah any questions, he is in the chat right now. Technic's got a question. There you go, there's the AY chip levels all bouncing away there. Yes, fella, I tell you what, I'll, do you want me to put in the Discord now? Right, I'm going to upload the disk file now. Where the fart is it, actually? Where's my file for this? Right, it's in the Amstream live sharing channel in my Discord. And I put a, a, a reference to it in the general chat. So it's in my Discord now if, 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 if anybody wants it, okay? I'll come back out of this. Hang on then. We had an alert come in, didn't we? Uh, alerts are unmuted. One second. Stroudman. Stroudman. Thank you for the one pound. <laughs> Again, I've no idea who this is. I don't know why I allowed Dave to bring you onto our podcast. <laughs> you were the worst guest we've ever had. Go away and take your am scrap with you. How do what? Oh no! Stroud man, who's that? I've no idea who that was. It's from the account, so it's either Flibble or Mad One. I, I might. I don't know if Kev would know who RMC is, so I'm gonna guess that's Flibble. Oh, there was another one, hang on. Any Abaku. Abaku Beach? Any. Any Abaku Beach? Any Abaku Beach? 
I don't know how. If that's a joke, now I don't get he it. Realize the body of Mary Lee died at the age of 103. For 15 years, she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this vicinity. Uh, charming, not charming. <laughs> Again, that's from the, the the account. One of the two accounts. I don't know who that's from. So thank you. That's lovely, lovely. Naughty Flib. Uh, that might be Naughty Flibble again. Bananas in the chat for kind donuts. Right. So the dancing sugars are on beat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Kate has donated one pound. I think we ought to get to a game first. Next after this. I missed the first half hour of the stream and don't know what's happened, but everyone is saying lovely things about Zai, so I'll join in. Zai put so much work into his vids and streams Aww. while still holding down a full-time job. And he has a pert sexy ass. Good grief! Mrs. Zypho! That was Mrs. Zypho! Only Mrs. Zypho would say that. That isn't from GP, that is actually from the missus, so... I've... I will get to a game. <laughs> Strawberry cat. Jonah Ship, if you woke up next to Zypho after a heavy night of drinking, which game would you play to forget making love 464 times? <laughs> a question to Jonah Ship from the Strawberry Cat. <laughs> That's something that was talked about in the Discord yesterday. If you work on SSI for after a heavy night of drinking, which game would you play to forget making a portion of 64 times? <laughs> That's from Pat Big Knowles. Hello, GP. Hello, GP. How are you doing? Right, chat. Bananas in the chat for GP there. Thank you, GP. Right, chat. Let's pick a game to start with. Seems we're on the 4th x 4th birthday tonight. Let's choose. I'm going to mute alert just for a minute so we can get to the first game. Right. First game of the night. Let's pick an early Amstrad Amsoft game. Right. Um, let's start with an early Amsoft Amstrad game. Celebrate the Amstrad's birthday when it first came out. It's his birthday tonight. So, request suggestions in the chat. Yeah, caught out, GP, caught out. What early Amstrad Amsoft game should we use to start the stream tonight? Which one, chat? Which one? Are we going for a Roland game? Or something else from Amsoft's catalogue? Or an early non-Amsoft game from 1984? We have done a lot of uh, 1984 streams. Maybe you can remember one from that. Suggestions in the chat. I'm going to forego doing the greetings and scrolling through the chat. It, there's no chance I could go through and welcome each and every one of you to the chat. The greeting section, I can't do it. We are now 37 minutes into the stream. I can't do the greeting. So hello each and every one of you. Welcome to the AM stream. I'm sorry I haven't taken the chance to welcome each and every one of you here tonight. And I've missed so many comments. I'm so sorry. That's what happens. That's what's happened tonight. So I apologise for that. So hello Jolly Mike. <laughs> Hang on. I will replay that in a second. Roland on the junk owl okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play play different tune. Sorry. Can we hear number three? Shadow of the Beast, Eerie Forest. Yes. Actually. I've got to replay this. I've got to do this. Oh, no, sorry. I will I'll replay number three again for you. Richard Joseph. Hang on. Thank you for the one pound, Richard. That's going to be... Oh, is that Richard Joseph from Palace Software? This is a superb collection of classic chiptune for the Amstrad CPC and an extraordinary compliment to its 39th anniversary. Oh, thank you, Richard Joseph of Palace Software. It was actually Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. Hello, Sir Nick of Tech. <laughs> Hello, Nick. 
Remnant of the Pert Arse might gammon. Ooh, Harry attack is good. Roland on the ropes. I do love a bit of Roland on the ropes. Oh, Mummy's popular. Harry attack. Sultan's maze. Roland on the runs. Bridget. Thank you again, Mrs. Sci-Fi. That's a lovely message, babe. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. I do. I do. Thanks, babe. That means a lot, Mrs. Ifo. Lots of love in the chat for Mrs. Ifo, because she's a very, very supportive missus as well, letting me do this. So, thank you, babe. Roland on the lash. Ooh, it's Roland on the ropes, or Harry attack, I think. Hello, Mame Hayes. Version of Eerie Forest sounds awesome. You're going to stay. Yay! Awesome, Nick. First game ever played was Sultan's Maze. I like Sultan's Maze. Everyone gets a bit there. Thank you, Mike. And thank you again, Mike, as well, for the dono. Roland on the ropes. Ooh. I'm telling I, I always go for Roland on the ropes. We have done Roland on the ropes a lot. Bubble Bobble is not a um, 1984 Amsoft game, is it really, Jolly? That was 1987. Hello, German. Gla oh, love a bit of Galactic Play. Better than the caves is like Mario on the CPC. We could do a bit of both then. One quick run and run on the ropes then. And a Harrier attack. I'll tell you what we'll do, Jonah. We will do some more of your tunes in a little bit. Okay. We'll do some more of Jonah's tunes in a little bit. Okay. Um, let's do one quick blast on Roland on the ropes then. All right. One quick blast on Roland on the ropes. Hey, what's... What's up with my... There we go. Got this. Yeah, there we go. Got cattle. Anyway, uh, one quick blast on Roland on the ropes then. Linford Pickle! How are your pickles doing, Linford? Welcome! Welcome, matey. And uh, we'll do some more requests later, FC Den Hog. Welcome, matey. How's it going, sir? Welcome, welcome. There is a project to fix Roland on the road. No way, Jonah. That would be amazing. Bob Woodhouse, welcome in. We're going to do a quick hurry attack after this one. RMC drops the soap. Good grief. That would be... Am oh, Jonah, that would be amazing if they had it done in time for tonight. That would be great. But never mind. A quick Roland on the road. Then. Uh-oh. Right. Quick question for the chat. What was the first ever Amstrad CPC 464 game you ever played? Was it Roland on the ropes? Was it Harrier Attack? Or was it something completely different? What was the first game you ever remember playing on your Amstrad? And if you didn't own an Amstrad growing up, uh, what was the first game you remember playing via emulation later? Arcanoid for Man Shovel. That's a good one. Oh no, this was a dead end. Alienate for Chiefy. Interesting. Uh-oh. Are these pink ferrets, GP? Or rats? Let's see. Uh, you haven't played one yet, Al. Why not? Bello goes, oh, mummy. Mirko was, oh, mummy as well. Red in the case of Magic Knight. First game I played. Bridget. I'm surprised you didn't, like, fr get, get your Amstrad CPC. Um, May Maze and just launch it out the window and go, I want a Spectrum. Um, Jonah Shit first game played Roland in the Caves, 25th December 1984. Cool, very specific and descriptive answer there, Jonah. I like it. Matthew Carter, welcome into the Amstream. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Ah! Ah! 
Are you gonna call? Oh, you freaking ghost! I'll, I'll best pause it there. Um, damn it! I'm, I'm half energy now. Uh, on, on my own six one two eight, it was manic miner. Wow! Budget budget release? Did it get bundled with it, Velo? Did you buy it second hand? Um, ready hardest for Matthew Carter. Interesting. Was that bundled with a second hand Amstrad? Any chance? Real OD, Roland goes digging from the Amstrad demo tape. Interesting. Roland goes digging from the Amstrad demo tape. That couldn't have been the official demo tape, could it, OD? That wasn't on the uh, UK demo tape. Linford says, I remember uh, Sorcery Spellbound and some BMX game. German, Bruce Lee, Christmas 86. That's a, that's a good way to start. Pug's quest for tapes and ant stream. I don't believe that for a second, GP. Uh, oh, mummy for Robin. Uh, Arnie Sorcery Plus. That's a good start. Bloody hell. Um, Blue Planet, yeah. Silton's Maze. Heat Walker, oh, mummy. Mike Gavin, Fruit Machine. Whoa. <laughs> start, starting on the fruities at an early age, Mike Gammon. Did that start a life lifelong habit of gambling? I hope not. I hope not. Harry attack for Jolly. We'll play that next, Jolly. I hope that brings out some good memories. Nish can't remember. I generally can't remember either. I think it's definitely the demo tape I loaded up first. Um, uh, oh, I just see the picture of Valo's putting the Discord. Oh my god, you got me heart. Got my heart racing there. You can shoot the ghost to turn them around. S scare the ghost. Scare the ghosties off. I think Sorcery Plus on an Emmy was your first. So, Al K, you did own an Amstrad growing up. And that's cool then, if you've come into the Amstream community and become a real regular here. I like you. I like that, Al K. I like, and I like you. Because if you grew up and you, did, you don't have any real, like, nostalgia attached to the Amstrad. Maybe you do. Maybe you, you had, uh, like, a best mate and you played around a best mate's house. What, um, what's, what's your history of the, uh, the Amstrad, Al K, then? Uh, best 1984 game, Home Runner. I loved watching that. Oh, we're at the, look, there's the, oh, we're at the top there, but no exit. I loved watching Home Runner on the Amstrad's demo cassette. I was, I was mesmerized by it and I always wanted it for some weird reason. Mrs. Zypher says, I'm a mod. I never had an Amstrad. I have an Amazon though, so that counts, doesn't it? It does. Adam's bloody walk. Oh, all that way to a dead end. Oh no! Bloody hell. Al K, you're American! Do you know, I don't think I knew that. You had a NES and an IBM XT. You probably told me at some point. I've got a terrible memory sometimes, Al K. Um, oh no! Oh, this, this run is busted. I'm like that ghost. Um... I got into Euro computers watching YouTube channels like uh, Chini Vision Spectrum Show. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad. I'm really glad to see you become a real regular here, Al. Okay, that's awesome. All right, big respect and props to you. Like we have for like Man Shovel and and Matt and others uh, who are fellow Americans. And it's Kristen. Hello, Kristen. We've got, uh, got a Canadian here. How you doing, Kristen? I like learning and seeing these games system. I never got to play from being Canada. They are so neat. I know, I know, like, for example, this game looks so janky if it's, like, terrible scrolling. But it's, it's for me, it's so nostalgic. I spent absolutely hours on this as a kid up the rat and I love this game to bits 
Can we escape? We've got six health points left. For me, this, as a kid, this was be, this this was me being Indiana Jones, and I adored this game as a kid. And I think this this game has just got bundles of charm to it. It's not the exit. Can we escape? And uh, and as you, uh, for those of you that don't know, like maybe Kristen hasn't seen this game before. This is level one. As you move up to uh, the levels. New monsters get introduced as you progress up the levels. The next level, I think you get um, mummies chasing you around the levels. Then you get vampire bats. Then you get skeletons, which scared the ever-living crap out of me as a kid. And I switched the Amstrad off. I got so scared when I was about six years old. Take the hit there. <gasps> no! I can't remember. No, that's it after that. Then you get everything all at once after you. <gasps> right. No! You bugger. Oh, I've got two hits. I was probably on the wrong way there. Oh, well. You're hanging out in glorious inbred Norwich. <laughs> uh, are you, Kristen? Be careful out there. Be careful out there. Hey, nothing wrong with Norwich. Nothing wrong with Norwich. I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. Have a good time in OLL. I nearly made it. I was nearly going to go, but I can't go now. Unfortunately. How you doing, Fenrir? I think it's great that in 2023 we can all stay still still play and appreciate games and systems. I missed out on I never played C64 or Specky as a kid because all my friends got anxious to see mine. <laughs> yeah, I mean I've I've really got into the Commodore 64 and Amiga. I never had an Amiga as a kid or I had friends, I had Amigas. But I've started to really get into Amiga thanks to you know being on streaming on Twitch and emulators and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Alright, okay. Let's just accidentally recycle it. Right, time for some Harrier attack. We've done plenty of... I, I wanna, secretly, deep down, I wanted another go on Roland there. An escape. But we've done plenty of Roland in the past. Bit of Harrier attack now. Right. It's Grasso there. Excellent. We like a bit of Grassomaniac. You always thought those green things were chameleons as a kid. I guess they're meant to be scorpions. I thought they were chameleons too, Blue Planet. Um, I guess they're not. I think they probably are supposed to be scorpions and stuff. Don't think in 40 years we'll still be playing on PS4 and Xbox. Hmm... Who knows, Robin? Who knows? I suspect, like, like, I don't know. That's a good question. I would suspect that, like, PS4, PS5, and whatever comes after PS5, PS6, will be just lumped into one blob the ps4 four, five, six era games will be lumped into one like unit and and people like in 30 years time will be just playing them as like one game base do you know what i mean i don't know whereas like ps1 will be one thing ps2 will be one thing ps3 i don't know i, I just that's just that just popped into my head because there won't be a great deal of discernible difference between them between ps4 5 and what and probably what comes after ps5 who knows who knows what the technology will lead to i don't know hmm the manual claims they are chameleons i don't know 
Really? Ah, they are chameleons then. You were correct. Right. And Nish says they were as well. Oh, Flibble disappeared to have a good uh, listen through uh, Jonah's Am uh, Amstring music disc. Fantastic. Uh, Jonah, do you want me to get um, Cool Can to put it on CPC Power? You know what? We should get it properly launched and announced and get it on like Indie Retro News and all that kind of stuff. If you're all right with that, Jonah. Wait, what skill level should we go for? Go for... Oh, hang on. No, I didn't set joystick. Hang on, let me just load it up again. No, this will have a bit of Harrier attack. Is it already on CPC power? Oh, hang on. Mirko! Whoa! Whoa, I have some Dancing Lord Sugars and some fireworks. <laughs> My first comp was Schneider CPC 464. Never realized that its birthday is so close to mine. Mine was four days ago. Mm. Wink, wink. Can I get a happy birthday? Pretty please smile, smile. Oh, yes, of course. Chat, it was Mirko's birthday a few days ago. Uh, we know what to do, don't we? We know what to do. We're going to have to sing happy birthday to Mirko. Are we ready, chat? Are we ready? I'll leave the dancing sugars up. Right. We'll sing happy birthday to Mirko and we'll sing happy birthday to the Amster CPC 464 at the same time. Right, exclamation mark birthday in the chat. Are we ready? Are we ready, chat? Are we ready to sing happy birthday? Here we go. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mirko and the 464. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mirko. I hope you had a fantastic day four days ago uh, on the 10th of April. Happy birthday, Mirko. Love you, mate. You're an absolute top bloke. And happy birthday, the Amsterdam CPC 464 as well. Thank you, Mirko, and thank you very, very much for the five, five pounds as well. Mirko, don't give me money on your birthday, you silly sausage. <laughs> Should be spending it on yourself and your wonderful partner. Have a look. I hope you have a lovely birthday weekend coming up. Are you doing anything lovely and special this weekend for your birthday, Mirko? <laughs> and sorry for my terrible singing, Mirko. I'm sorry for my terrible singing. Uh, hopefully... You brought, a t you, you brought a tear to your eye. I hope you got a t uh, tears of pain. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the birthday wishes to Mirko there. There we go. <laughs> right. But, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mirko. All right. Harrier attack time. I'm going to select jo joystick. Oh, I didn't select before. Travelling to Rome for a week. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Bombs up, Mirko. No chance of copyright strike for that singing. Right, we're going to go for level three. And see what we can do here on Harry Attack. Off we go with a bit of... um, Right, space to drop bombs. Got it. Okay. Hey, we bombed their ship. Yay for war. <laughs> right, how do we... Oh, that's how you shoot the, shoot the planes, yeah. You fly up at the last second and the mis your missile goes with your plane. That I remember now. A classic GB. A classic, yeah. I remember now. Oh. Shot my shot my shot a little bit too early there. There we go. It's very rudimentary and basic. 
I'll let you into a little secret chat. I'll let you into a little um, tip bit of information. Arse biscuits. Not that. Not that. Arse. Alright. I'll let you into a little, um, little bit of trivia. Alright. I can tell you. I can tell you. Um, this was. A Harry Attack was the third Amstrad game ever made. Yes. Yes. This is a true this is true. This is a true thing. This was the third game that, that arrived at Amstrad and Amsoft headquarters. So I, I will um for those of you that will um don't reveal it in the chat because I'm gonna reveal it tonight and I thought no, I'm gonna save this for the 40th anniversary next year. Those of you who remember we spoke to Rodan Perry, he revealed what was the first ever Amstrad game completed and the second one. He also told us that the third Amstrad game ever completed and arrived at Amstrad headquarters and Amsoft, headqu uh, Amsoft was this one, Harrier Attack. So this is the third Amstrad game ever made. The third Amstrad game made. And uh, this is the, and it was a British one. There you go. That trivia came at a cost. Ah, I know, I know. Do you have one more quick run? We'll have one more quick run. Dreamy, hello Dreamy. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, while I'm having this third run, we've uh, we've got started the uh, one of the oldest games of all time. Started one of the oldest. Let's have one of the newest games. Chat. Pick a modern homebrew game that runs on a 464 and 64k of memory. Maybe something from the CPUC retro dev. Um. What should what what? Let's pick a modern homebrew game. Oscar Z, that's a good one. Uh, I'm tempted by that one. Mmm. Right, chat. Suggestions for the next game. Uh, let's let's pick a really good modern homebrew game. What should it be? What should it be? Are you dreamy? How you doing? Got to get to the city at least. I know. That was a terrible run. Ooh, I'm tempted by penguin attack as well. Good choices there. Hello, Flog Jam. It's Bob Labola. Hello, Bob Labola. How are you doing? Scramble. I like that. Maybe not a remake of something GP, though. But I, I love Scramble. Maybe more of an, an original property. Although someone suggests Pimple Dreams, it's, that's kind of hard to turn down, though. Because it, it's that damn good. Oh, I nearly flew into that plane there. I mean, this is so damn basic, this game. The sprites are terrible. The scrolling is terrible. The sound effects are... All right, they're okay, actually. There's no music. Um... But there's something compelling about this. I don't know why we all like this game. Technically, it's it, it's bad, isn't it? Oh, Trasmos! I do love Trasmos, but we have featured it too recently, haven't we? I don't know. I like this game too, Andy. I do. I do. Why do we like this game so much, chat? What is it about this game that we, that we like? Can, can we put can we put our fingers on it? Stephanie, Stephanie, I, I was thinking about you earlier today because I was watching an old stream, um, uh, a, uh, a stream from a few weeks back or whatever, and I was like, "Oh, where's Steph?" I saw your name in the chat. And I was like, "Oh, I hope Stephanie's okay. How have you been, Stephanie? I hope you're keeping well." We're celebrating the Am uh, Amstrad CPC 46 for a birthday tonight. Uh, Dreamy, I'll, I'll read your message just a sec. Oh, I had the worst week, sleepless nights. Oh, are we meant to be bobbing this city? I feel. Uh, hang on. Oh, 
Isn't this like innocent civilians? Actually, no, I'm not going to bomb the city. That feels like I'm bombing innocent civilians. Or are these factories? Let's assume these are factories. I've got no bomb. Oh, I, I have got bombs. Ah, take that battleship. Oh, this is my carrier, right? Oh, I've got a land, haven't I? Did I do it? I did it, didn't I? Everyone's a target in the war. That is Harrier attack. I think I've completed it. There are tanks. Mess them up. <laughs> and then, it, is it just loot? It just loops now, doesn't it? GG's? GG's, I guess. Is it just more of the same? I think it's just more of the same, isn't it? All right. Okay. We'll, we'll leave it there for that. Gets faster? No, nah, it doesn't seem to, does it? I don't know. Is there a lot of games that is different with the 6128 like eSWAT game window small? Not many music, man. That's a good question. eSWAT is famous. On the 464, the window is squashed down like that. And then when you play it on the 6128 with 128k around, the window expands. <laughs> I, no, I don't remember a game like that music, man. That, it, was, like, it blew my mind. Because uh, I remember loading it up on both the 464 and the 6128. Uh, dreamy. Uh, worst week. Three sleepless nights. I never think at the point I ended up with low blood pressure yesterday. Oh, no. I, I found out from my doctor I have low blood pressure. And that was partly possibly causing some of my problems recently. One good thing happened. I watched the new Mario movie and it was amazing. I've heard lots of good things about it. It's really silly and upbeat and positive. And uh, people are pleasantly surprised by it. I'm glad that's cheered you up, Dreamy. Sleepless nights are horrible. Uh, we'll try and hopefully we'll try and cheer you up here in the chat tonight. So what are we choosing then, chat? We've got a lot of uh, we've got Oscar Z, Oscar Z, Relentless, Scramble. I'm tempted, I'm tempted GP. We follow nicely on from this actually. Uh, a double, yeah, two calls for Relentless and two for Oscar Z. Penguin attack. A Relentless Oscar Z. People dreams is 128k only though. Ah. Zalbashloss, Pete Walker. That's not homebrew. I like uh, Trasmos. Oscar Z. Uh, most votes there for Oscar Z. Oh, we could do some Robocopy copy to bits, Stephanie. We're just looking for a homebrew game at the moment. We could come back and do like something mid period. We're starting with early classics. We've had a bit of Roland on the ropes. We've had a bit of Harrier attack. We're now going fast forwarding to like modern day for homebrew. Man shovel. No matter how many times you type it out, it doesn't count as extra votes. Zidulan. Hello, Zidulan. I'll tell you what we might do, guys. We might do the music quiz after this, but we'll do it in sections. We'll do a bit of music quiz. We'll stop. Play some games. Music quiz. Stop, play some games. So we've got like a whole two hours of music quiz. We'll, we'll spread it out throughout the night. Should we do it like that, chat, and be a bit more random tonight? Does that sound good? Yay or nay? Oscar Z, then Relentless. Is Relentless 128k only? I don't think it is. Okay. Right, okay. The abduction of Oscar Z. Oh, this is great. Um, Dreamy, I think you'll like this because I'll, I think you'll like the comic book aesthetic of this. Kristen, I think you'll really like this as well. I'm just going to grab a quick drink from the fridge, guys. Be right back in 20 seconds.
Oh, bloody hell. Hang on, I'll pause that. Charlie Atlas will run on 64k. It will. I think it will. Thank you, Charlie Farr's so so Sauna Club. Or well, Sauna. If you're, from, if you're from Finland. All right, we'll do Relentless next. Just remind me. We'll do a quick relent Relentless run. Thank you, Pat McNulls. A.K.A. GP. Thank you, GP. <laughs> Cheeky GP. Thank you. Uh, posing as Charlie Files Sauna Club. What an intro to a game. So this is the adduction of Oscar Z. Thank you, GP. Lots of love and ferrets to you. This was the winner of the CPC Retro Dev. Oh, was it in 2020? I thought it was 2019. It's a club you would pay to join. <laughs> I thought you started it. <laughs> what a beautiful presentation. And already over scan into the borders. Lovely colour. Right. Don't want to give it away there. Right, left, right. That should be good. Okay. Are you liking the look of this, Dreamy? Uh, Stephanie says, I'm so happy I could burst. I've missed you all so much. I've not been well, but I'm good now. I was going to ask uh, how you've been, Steph. Yeah. Uh, Oh, press escape, Blue Planet. Says, oh, during I should have done that during um, Harrier attack. He does. He does the um, he ejects out the plane, doesn't he? Yes. Sorry, Blue Planet. I should have done that. Sorry for the Ams honk and Ams toot there. As well, Sigur Bjorn. Good evening, Sigur Bjorn. How you doing, my friend? Stephanie, I'm so sorry to hear you not been very well. I did. A, I know you've had a few issues, so I kind of assumed that you've been a bit poorly. Um, I, I'm glad to hear you're doing better, though. I hope. You better close that in a bit, Mrs. I. You're digging the look of this game. All right, let's play. Let's play. Beautiful music and design. Make sure you collect the fruits. Build up your power meter so you can do these runs. And you can jump, you can slide. What you're doing is you're racing against an alien. You've got um like a mini map at the top of the screen there. Showing how close you are to the alien. You've got to beat the alien. It's a race to the end of the level. You've got to rescue your little animal friend who's at the end of the level. You've got to beat the alien. To your animal friend. Oh no! Oh, I've lost all my power. Bugger. Good. All right, let's watch out, mines. No! And if you get hit without having one of your power-ups there, you get sent back. What happens if the alien wins? Well, it's game over. You can get reset multiple times on the level. If the alien gets to your animal, it's game over.
Oh, bugger. Fuck. She's up there to catch up. Oh, there's the alien! Right. We caught up with him. But we've got to knock him out of his um, spaceship. We did it! But we need to nick his, like, UFO thing. So what we... Ideally, we've knocked him out of his UFO thing. But ideally, we want to nick his, like, UFO, like, um, thing. And he can actually fly on his UFO. But we did steal it. Ass. Oh, never mind. We missed the fruit there. He might get back on it and chase us. It's a bit like Wonder Boy, if Wonder Boy had a race mechanic. Yeah. I think we've done it. Hey, we rescued our little lamb. Ah, oh, love hearts. There we go. There you go. Stop moaning, Zypho, you have a fur coat. Sandra Relaine is one of the most relaxing things. That is very true, yes. We're just using them already to get a bit of speed up. We've already catching up. Oh, spikes there. Really smooth on a CRT. Extra smooth. Extra smooth. It's using the fruit already there. Just get a bit of speed going. Watch out for the spikes on the floor. A new danger here. Like the slide mechanic here, that's really a cool feature. And you can just hold the slide down. There you go. Fried egg there. Hey, Retro and Lim, how you doing, mate? <gasps> oh no. Let me just pause there a second. Let me just catch up the chat there. Um, Ellen Guess. Oh, it's Amorphis. Are you in with your real name? Hello, Ellen. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So I just want to say hello to a few people just popping into the chat there. Let me just bring my music down a touch. Uh, welcome, Ellen. How you doing? It's Amorphis, everyone. Welcome, Amorphis. You recognize her from Twitch? It's it's Fenrir's um, partner. Welcome, Mr. Neon. Hello, Mr. Neon. Welcome in. And we've got a retro and limb as well here. Oh, pardon me. I've got the Windy Pops. Sorry. Welcome. And I said hello to Magic Knight. Hello, Magic Knight. You've been here a long time, though. I know, I know. Um, May May says, I think one thing that stands out about this is the shape of the floor. It's very dynamic, not just eight pixel steps. I know, it's very smooth. Very smooth. It's lovely. Lovely. Uh, the scroll punch is nice. You can run onto the edge, but not force it faster. I know. And it's full overscan into the borders of the screen, which is very difficult to achieve on the Amsterdam. My view count's got stuck again. Bad view count. Behave yourself. That's better. Um... So, normally the Amstrad, if you don't know, if anyone that's not familiar with the Amstrad, has a border around its screen, which is quite thick, normally. But here, they've done some very clever programming to get the game playing into the borders of the screen all the way around, which is very difficult to do. And also get full screen scrolling at smooth at 50 frames per second, which is incredibly difficult to do. Um, a few years ago, we had a full interview with the coder and graphics artist of this game, on the am stream uh, a couple of years ago uh, on uh, live and there's a very interesting interview with them on how they did this so you might want to tra track that down if you're interested in the coding techniques and nerdy stuff quick drink 
I know Sigurd Bjorn. It just bothers me. It usually works, and then it sometimes doesn't. But anyway, right back to the game. Oh! Oh, Mr. Sweetie. I should have used the... Oh, there's a little glitch there. Very rare that you get glitches in the game. You get the occasional blip there if you saw that. Um, I, I don't think that happens on real hardware. That's more of an emulator thing. I should have saved my power up, so that's mine section, probably. And it respawns you just before it. Great. Oh, it gives you some. We are not far from the alien. I'm gonna save him. The only criticism I have about this game is that it's a little bit us. Uh, no, not us. It's a little bit on the short and easy side. There's only three levels, and it won't take you long to beat it. Otherwise, it's absolutely freaking glorious. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Missing all that fruit. Oh no! Hold on that slide button. If you've never seen this game before, what do you think to it? Are you loving what you see? Game Pro proves the uh, CPC can do scrolling. Oh, yes. Proves the naysayers wrong. Oh, no. We need to catch that UFO! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna catch the chicken at the end of the level. Looks top to me. Good stuff. Oh, we're so close to the UFO. I think we have to slide that one. How do we get past that green blobby one? Oh. Mmm. Lots of bananas in the game. Thank you, Hinnaman. Oh no, we really needed that fruit. Ah, uh, not crapping, dropping, not, what's that? Not crapping, dropping eggs. That's a waste. That was an absolute waste there. I had so much, oh no. I've lost the plot here. Can't get past that green one there. Right, I think I'll probably move on in a second. I said this was too easy and now I can't get past this section. <laughs> Okay. 
Jermyn's got an interesting question there. Oh, I think I got past it. I got past it and then I screwed it up. Uh, how did Dizzy's race multiply when there were four lads and only two lasses? There were also eggs with no repro reproductive capabilities, German. That's that's the other question. Oh no! That's how you do it. Yeah, Black is a good game. All right. You ready? No! <laughs> basically, you do get basically infinite lives. Yes. Infinite retries. I just need to get that strawberry. If I could get that strawberry, you could get past it. Retrobate, how you doing, matey? Welcome, dude. How's tricks, mate? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll move on. I'll move on. Know when to quit out so you're not boring people. Know when to stop. So, that's an awesome game. That was the abduction of Oscar Z. We'll leave it there. Know when to move on. Get a mixture of games on. Um, okay. Oh, so people wanted a Relentless. All right. A quick run showing of Relentless for people. All right. Quick Relentless. We have shown this a few times on, on the stream before. Uh, a little bit about intro. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Hang on. I broke this. Fun stop stops. That's a good good way. Well, I was enjoying it. I was enjoying it, but if I, if I repeatedly die in somewhere, I think it can, can get a bit like uh, on stream for people. So, move on, move on. How you doing, Retrobate? I hope all is good with you, mate. Thank God it's Friday. Is this your favourite CPC homebrew? Nice. I right, hope I won't suck at this. Maybe a run or two quickly on this one. This is freaking brilliant. They got this into 64k of RAM. In fact, I think they got this into even less than 64k of RAM. Uh, relentless. Next up, for the next request, I would like in the chat. Will I just check this out? I think they got this actually relentless. They got this into a 16k ROM. This game, 16 kilobytes, not 64k, 16 kilobytes. I don't know if that's possible. I would like a mid-era, or maybe a golden golden age of Amstrad gaming. You know, sort of 1987 onwards to 89, 1990 era, Amstrad era of gaming. You know, that era of the you know, ocean games and all that kind of stuff. That sort of era request. What are we going for, chat, as a game suggestion? And after that... We'll start our music quiz for a bit of fun. And we'll do a few music quiz questions. We'll stop. Do some games. Do some more music quiz. We'll start. Do some games. And we'll sort of punctuate it throughout the stream. So we don't do a whole like one to two hour block of music quiz. I'm not doing bloody cauldron bloody two. 
I'll come back and have a look at the requests after this. Right. We'll go default here. Default settings, which is medium. Alright, here we go. Get rid of the turrets as quick as you can, generally. Uh, get off the wave of enemies. Get the bonuses up. If you're going for a score, that is. What an awesome game this is. It's a homebrew game. Bloody hell. <laughs> Retro Unlimited. Unlimited? Hang on, where's my phone? Oh! You text the text to speech got blocked there. Retro Limited donated one pound and says news. I've booked a special guest for play. He f's goats. I can't repeat that. The f word. He f's goats and can gap his anus so wide a four six four can fit in it. Pizza legend. What the hell? Who wrote that one? <laughs> Whoever did, tried to get get the F word in on the AM stream. Naughty boy, whoever that was. Bananas in the chat for Retro Unlimited. Yeah, you didn't get away with that one in the text-to-speech. That was... Well, he did actually get the word on stream, probably, actually. That was Pat McNulls. You naughty boy, Pat McNulls. GP. Bananas in the chat for Pat McNulls. Good grief. Thank you. Um, <laughs> right. Enough F on to the Pac Man Twitch. Oh, yeah, I did say a rude word, didn't I? He's now the bloody schloss by the shovel. Um, you do love a quiz? Of course, you do. Host an excellent, retrobate, uh, host an excellent retro quiz on his uh, stream. So if you feel like a good retro quiz, make sure you subscribe to Retrobate on um, YouTube, on his YouTube channel. All right. Thank you, Pat McNulls, you naughty boy, you. Oops, missed that one. Oh, my bonus meter is falling away. What did you, uh, what score was it you got an overbug to try and beat on this man shovel? Retro Lim, what do you have to say to that naughty uh, dono from um, Pat McNulls there? Is Pete still here? And boys and girls, what do we think to Relentless? Who here hasn't seen Relentless for, before and what do you think? To this awesome 50 frames per second scroll. Who said the amateur can't scroll? Oops, missed that. My bonus meter was looking good. So the quicker you clear off a wave of enemies, your bonus meter fills up, and ah oh no, and the higher your score gets. So important to clear off the turrets as quick as you can. Oh, I left that one. Oh. Oh, it was about 200,000, wasn't it? He set an overbug on his charity stream. Oh, I might be screwed here. I'm thinking here for me is just survival and see if I can get to the end, I think. Oh! No! I clipped the scenery! I didn't... I was, wasn't bloody paying attention to the... Oh! There you go. That was relentless there. 
Just a quick run and relentless because we've had it on stream like so many times. I don't want to bore people with the same stuff all the time. Um, there you go. Actually, this looks cool also. Have you not seen this before, Chiefy? This is a pretty amazing game. Castle Master. I was thinking of doing a, a long play of that uh, Blue Planet, actually. That might come up soon. A damn good shooter. This is pretty impressive. It is the answer, isn't it? Secure Bjorn. Right, what's people requested then? Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, CBC needs a suitable construction kit. Is that a suitable construction kit thingy, um, Jonah? There you go. Tell you what. While people are choosing, while I'm looking at the chat, shall we have a listen to? No, actually, no, actually, we'll we, we will. Um, let's pick a game. And uh, we'll get some of your Jonah, Jonah, Jonah music up soon. Um, we'll pick one game, one classic game, and um, then we'll just, we'll do a quick bit of music quiz. Okay. Uh, don't be harsh on Cypher. This is the first time you've seen this game. <laughs> um, let's pick a big classic game then. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, I think Batman. It's Friday. Galactic Team is cool as well. That's a that's a good homebrew one. Yeah. Uh, Rock and Wrestle. Maybe later on FC. We're looking for a bigger game. I think more well known one. Uh, Highlander? Oh my god. Turd. <laughs> Highlander for sure? No way. Anterior ad? That's cool. Uh, Death Wish. Dragon Ninja? That's a banger. Kane? That's a good budget one. Yeah. Mission Impossible? I still remember that stream a couple of years ago. Oh my god, Mirko. you got a good memory. Western Games. Target Renegade? I know it's been played a lot, but this is time to break out the classics. Oh, Target Renegade intro music was legendary. That's a good one. Yeah. Shinobi. Ooh, that's that's a good one as well. Yeah. 21788, says Man Shivel. Is that a bloody Tronic Verlag game? Grizer. Ooh. Target Renegade and Grizer. Stephanie loves Relentless. Ooh. Excellent, excellent. I'm glad to hear. Um, neon sign scrambles says CDJ. This looks good. That's a good description, CDJ. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Kick off two, GP. Um, Dizzy, that's a good call because the first Dizzy game did come on the Amstrad. Do you know what, Blue Planet? I might look at that later. Death Wish. Do you mean Death Wish Free, Mr. Neon? Ghostbusters. You know, that's not a bad call for later on tonight. Or Rick Dangerous, actually. Mike ZT. Ruprim, good evening. Another shout for Shinobi. Oh. I'm not Dean Bloody Altered Beast. Uh, do we see Le Mans? We did play that. Was it last week? Was it the week before? Uh... Oh, I think it's between Shinobi and Grizor. Um, hmm. Zombies gonna be a bit slow for tonight, RetroQ. Good shout though. The first ever Ubisoft game, and it was on the Amstrad. Barbarians, a very good shout as well. Death Kick. Um. I like Dragon Ninja. That was a good call as well. Um, I think Grizor kind of really does show off the amateur. We had, did have it recently. All right. Quick quick, quick showing of Grizor then, shall we? Quick run of Grizor. And maybe a bit of Dragon Ninja to follow. Yeah. Go on then. Another birthday. Hello, Mr. Bedford. How you doing, my friend? Cypher has never, ever had a quick run of Grizor. It's a short game. You can beat it in, like... 
How was quick? I think you beat it in under seven minutes, Velo. That is quick. If you want, Velo, get your stopwatch out. All right, get it, get it going, get it going. Get music in game. We were nice if they could add scrolling to this. Yes, that should be the next project. But they added scrolling to Renegade. I wonder if it's possible to add scrolling to this because it's the same coder and graphics artist. I'm going to mention it to the Re Renegade Reloaded team. I mean, you never a quick shot. You can always try and compete. I'll have one go. If I get wrecked, we'll move on, I think. And let's get wrecked stupidly early. I doubt it will happen. And now I've cursed the run. I have cursed the run by saying that. Damn it. Stupid boy. You can't stuck again, right? Okay. All right. Quick bit of Grisor. Here we go. One good comment every month, GP. Thank you, mate. You've used your... Oh. Oh, stupid. You've used your one month... Uh, one comment per month quota there, I see. Yeah, we're starting that again. <laughs> right, here we go. Now, okay, here we go. Get the laser, and then we're good for the rest of the run. Oh yeah, just stay on the bottom here. That music, nostalgia. It is. What a tune. What? Beautiful graphics as well. Right, just wait for that to shoot, and then we jump, and then we shoot at the same time. Sometimes we get a guy jumping down from there, so we're just going to be careful before we move on. Fire as you move off the screen here. Same as you move off. Jump and shoot, and then jump down here. Kill that thing, but you can fire as you move off the screen. So you always got to be firing with the laser as you move off onto the next screen. That's the problem with a sp um, what do you call it? Flick screen scrolling. Well, there's no scroll. It's flick screen, single screen. And you got you got to judge the firing of your the timing of the firing of your laser weapon. And you fire one big laser blast at a time. You find all the GP's comments agreeable. Well, we love a bit of GP here. Hello again, terrible coughing. How you doing? Jump, you never know when a, a little bullet might just fly out as things explode. So just watch out for that. If we can do it, we might be able to do it keeping the laser all the way through. Every comment you make is wisdom, says Velo to GP. Interesting. Interesting. Just being extra safe here. Careful. Alright! Here we go. I've got to be super safe here. Oh, oh, that was close. That was the, just that was the dangerous part there. Yay! Okay. Now I can't remember. Before I just jump up it, we've shot two um pickle. Is the B, one of these will be a weapon pickup, and the other one will be the, um, make you invulnerable. Which one's the un invulnerable one? Which one's the weapon one? <coughs> oh, sorry, 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 everyone. I apologize for that disgusting behavior. Pardon, pardon me. Is it barrier? B for barrier? 
I think it's the first one we pick up, is it? Forming in birth. I'm so sorry. Pardon me. B for barrier. B for Barry. And B for barrier. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Malamote. Okay, Mr. Barry Roadwell there. Cheers. B for burp. I'm so sorry for the Ams burp there. Lovely. I'm sorry. That was disgusting. I apologize. I apologize. Ooh, nasty. Um, don't forget, guys, to give the stream a, li a like and thumbs up. Especially after that. I don't think people will. If you haven't already, thank you, everyone, who's given the stream a thumbs up and like. I do very, very much appreciate it. And I would say this all the time, but it counts as interaction. And that makes um, YouTube like the, the video and the stream and promote it more to um, new people and more and the more new people will get to see the stream and stuff it's all we um, get more new people coming in and finding us and stuff because otherwise you know uh, it, it's great having new people come in and finding us so if you give us a like and a thumbs up i very very much appreciate it because the google algorithms like that stuff and then start suggesting the chat the youtube channel to new people and put it in their suggested videos and and feed and all that kind of stuff so thank you if you have over to we are 50 likes and now we're up to oh my page has stopped loading my oh no have i got internet problems uh things have stopped loading in my browser that's not a good sign Sorry, downvoted because of the burp. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's to 57 likes now. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. Cheers, guys and girls. Much appreciated. Right. Get the B. Yes, you are correct. Just don't get the R weapon here. With this, we could just cheese our way through the entire level without shooting a damn thing. La, 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 la. Don't fall off the bottom of the map. That's all. 14 seconds. Seven seconds. We did it! There we go. Thank you, uh, Malamut there. Always they, look at that. Always just do a jump at the end there. Hang on a second. Better genie with Dino Dean. <laughs> There'll be a bunch of people here wondering what is this Dino Deeny thing. <laughs> oh, 62 likes. Thank you. What the part? Is that, uh, is that us eating with Dino Dini? Thank you, Fettuccini with Dino Dini. <laughs> that was Man Shovel! Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel! <laughs> Daft buggy, you. Thank you, Man Shovel! <laughs> Fettuccini with Dino Dini! <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, if he wants to be friends, I'll, I, I, I would have some fettuccine with him if he wanted to have a little chat. Maybe. Geezer Games! Hello, Geezer! How you doing, mate? How's it going, Graham? Geezer Games, absolute legend. The amazing coder behind Devil's Temple. The, home, the uh, brilliant homebrew game on the Amiga. If you haven't checked it out yet... Please do. It's like if Kung Fu Master was and and then uh, Vigilante was even better. Oh no! I've lost the freaking laser. This is disaster. We have lost the laser. Oh, crap. 
This has made our um, life immeasurably harder now because th th this boss here is a pain to freaking hit between his um, dropping of his crap here. Have you ever seen Greiser on the Amstrad before, Geezer? We're celebrating uh, the Amstrad 464's 39th birthday tonight. And don't bother playing Kung Fu Master or Vigilante on the Amstrad. Vigilante is terrible on the Amstrad. Kung Fu Master's kind of alright. Better than the specky version. I can spawn. Oh, nice. Rapid fire. Welcome back, Retro Name. Where have you been? On the beer run? Sensible soccer is the greatest. You won't be having fettuccine with Dino Dini saying that. Let me just pause there a second. Let me catch up the chat properly. Um, never forgiving Dina Dini. He apologizes to both of us. I no, he does need to say sorry. So I need a rerun of that CP soccer stream with custom players and Dino Dini on the villains team. <laughs> you give me the thumbs up. Cheers, geezer. Appreciate that, mate. Appreciate that. Not too bad. Please, when kids go back to school on Monday. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Oh, well, I do. I, 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 I will miss the little un mini Zypho. He's four years old, and to be honest, he's a little delight. He's a really, really happy little lad, and I miss I miss spending time with him. The, old, the older ones, yeah, they can bugger off. <laughs> it's no Cobra or Red Heat. Uh, what is? What is Retron Limb? A Zypho Tuesday Tourney. What's that, GP? What are we talking about there? Uh, yes, mate, my mate had this back in the day. Um, did you enjoy playing it? It's not bad. It's just a shame it hasn't got scrolling. But the, uh, the, there was Renegade on the Amstrad, which was by the same coder and graphics artist. And someone's added, uh, gone back uh, last month and added scrolling to Renegade. And, um, and if they could do that with Renegade, they could do it to this one. So fingers crossed they'll add scrolling to this. OMG, it's OSG. Celebrating, that's like celebrating the birth of Seville. Whew. I don't see many uh, Commodore 64 streamers celebrating um, the Commodore 64's birthday. Even though, I'd say. <laughs> How you doing, old style gaming? Welcome, mate. How's it going, dude? You're just in time for a mute. We're going to do music quiz uh, very shortly, actually. Which, to be fair, you've probably got a shot at because... Um, you'd, you'd know that you'd know the music even if it doesn't sound the same being the AY chip and not the Sid chip. And you miss Jonah's like excellent music tonight. He's in some um, Commodore 64 conversions to the Amstrad. Damn bloody good. I'm gonna play some in a minute actually. I'm not playing bloody Pit Fighter tonight. Right. We are near the end of the game. And Velo, if you have got you, What the hell? What the hell killed me there? There is a bug in this game. There's a, there's two places that can randomly kill you. I forgot about that. Oh, we got the spread shot, though. Actually, that might be better for the end of the game with the, um, the flying bug things. Uh, Minis I is a delight. Do you want to co uh, come upstairs and settle him down then? Not at the present. It's a bit busy. <laughs> I, I, I've been settling him down in the middle of the night all week, babe. Sod! I needed that power up as well. That's the one tricky bit of the game I was not looking forward to. That's it. Oh, you 
massive fanny. I thought I could fall past that guy as well. Shh, shh, shh. Get rid of him. I might not complete this now. But down a weapon. Oh, I didn't. I, I was looking at the guy above. I was looking at the guy above me. Thought he might appear there and do that. Grenade guy. A bit close. I'm getting a bit nervous now. Gonna hold on to this weapon for the otherwise we're screwed. Alright, Zai, take your time. Alright, this is end game. Alright, concentration here. Hang on, sorry, got a uh, streamy saying goodnight. Um you weren't meant to be sleeping then. Yeah, I, I know, but I, I I kept him quiet while you were sleeping. Um, you know what settles four-year-olds down at night? Fear. It's nearly the opposite, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh, I'm scared of the dark daddy. Um, Dreamy, good night, Dreamy. Take care. Good night, Dreamy. Have a, have, I hope you get to good sleep tonight and have a lovely weekend. Take care, Dreamy. Night, night. Night, night. Um Oh Oh call a shame Dude thank you very very much for the oh set the fireworks off for you for the 499 through the super chat Thank you call a shame Thank you Oh he says please never stop doing these streams Happy birthday Amstrad back to Zypho I'll probably be doing them till I drop dead mate <laughs> Probably who knows where we'll be with whatever YouTube is and Twitch is. Who knows? Who knows? Thank you, Call of Shame. Thank you, matey. That's very, very kind of you. Grab some bananas in the chat. Call of Shame there. Cheers, mate. Mate, that was very, very kind and generous of you. Cheers, man. Thank you. You keep doing what you're doing on your channel. I think you're very, very successful, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot. Of, you've got a lot of subs. So you keep doing what you're doing, mate, as well. Cheers, dude. Thank you very, very much, mate. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, uh, Night Night Dreamy as well. Night Night. That was the most scales ever. I, I don't think I sounded like a scouser. Uh, Retro Lib will be the judge of that if I sounded scouser earlier. Redream emulator. I've not heard of that. What does that emulate? Amiga, awesome Amiga homebrew game, which is the only game I liked on my mate's Amstrad. <laughs> um, Scales where? I don't know, Flog Jam. I don't know what, uh, is this when I said uh, something about, uh, Manchu was this when I said, I was looking at that guy up there. I sounded really Scouser. <laughs> it's a, oh, it's a Dreamcast emulator. Oh, I've not looked at Dreamcast emulation. Maybe one day I might do a Dreamcast stream. I've actually got a real Dreamcast. At some point, well, I will do some real hardware streams at some point. Right, here we go. Final boss. Uh, it, Velo, if you've had the stopwatch out, you have to stop the stopwatch while I stop to talk to chat, okay? You can't count that, okay. What treats do you give to ferrets? That's a good question. Oh no, I forgot. These things fire out. I got rid of that one. We're going to take these out one by one. Okay, that's good. That's freaking close. The 
final boss. We don't have time to take out the um, the heads here. Ferret's like eating sparrows. Really? Uh, surprising the city they got to work on the mister. Yeah. Who managed to complete Ren uh, Grizel back in the day? Oh my goodness. Oh no, we're screwed. We are screwed. We're not going to complete. We're not going to complete this now. No, what one life left? GG's. GG's. It's been a fun run. been fun, but never mind. There we go. Oh, there we go. You beat Contra, does that count? Yeah, I, I scuffed it the last there. Never mind. Oh, well. That was a good run. That was a good run. There we go. No blow on the planet for you. I know. It's got the world's saddest ending to a game ever. You destroy the alien... And it says you've activated a self-destruct mechanism, and you blow up the planet, and you get a, you get a picture, you get an animated picture of the Earth blowing up. The world is screwed either way. Yes. If anyone doesn't know what they're talking about? Um, Amstrad, Grizer, long play. Where's my long play of this? Oh, I managed to beat this game in 5 minutes 27 seconds on my channel. Uh, this is my long play. 5 minutes speedrun, 5 minutes 27 seconds. There you go. This is the end of the game. Okay. And here we go. Here's the ending. Congratulations, you have saved the Earth from the evil alien threat. Unfortunately, destroying the heart activates a self-destruct mechanism, which blows up the planet. How sad. <laughs> there you go. The end. Original soundtrack available on John Michael Fenton Records. Game over. That's the amazing ending to Grizel. There you go. As available on my YouTube channel. There you go. <laughs> now Mars, yeah. How sad. How sad. Right. Bloody heck. Decent ending, that man. <laughs> but they ran out of memory. Well, not many games back then. Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore actually had bloody endings. They were like, uh, yeah. Either they just didn't have time for it, didn't have the, 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 didn't have the memory left, and all that kind of stuff, or they just couldn't be arsed. I don't know. That looks like the bad ending from an arcade game. There's no good ending even. No, no good ending. That's the only ending you can have. Thank you for the GG's there as well. Thank you, my friends. Uh, David, B73, welcome into the stream as well. Thank you for the GG's there. Cheers. Right. Should we, should we, do, should we start a music quiz? I think we probably should. And for those of you who missed it earlier, we had a music disc from Jonah. Um, he's still in the chat or not. i just pause mine. You know what? Let's reset it. For those of you who missed it earlier, Jonah made a very special... Are you kidding? If I reset it, it loses the disc. So I've got I've only got installed at the moment the slightly older version of a retro virtual machine. Um Why is it why does it eject the disc when you um reset? I don't I hope the new version doesn't do that. Jonah made this very special disc for us on the Amstream. There he is in the chat. The Amstream music disc Consisting of tunes converted from the Amiga and Commodore 64 to the Amstrad. Uh, 
Listen to the ring on series of music discs, each one consisting of six tunes converted from the uh, either the Amiga. Oh no, one of the cats has done a really stinky turd. Oh god! Oh, I've got to go and sort that out. Oh, Jesus! In the um, utility room, which is to the right of my office, I think one of the cats has had a really stink. I've got to go and sort that out, lads and lasses. Right. I'll go and just put some music on just for a second. I need, a, I need to go and get a drink anyway. Hello, Exotic Geek. Hello, Anna. This is what Jonah made. Isn't this awesome if you've missed it? And we're going to set up and we'll do a little music quiz. Guess the AMS tune. Um, let's put on. Which one should we have on? We've got. Uh, we don't. We did uh, Turrican Two and David Whitaker's Shadow of the Beast. Rob Bubbard. That's the ain't. That's quite a good one, isn't it? Mark Cooksey's Ghosts and Goblins title tune. We've got Mark Cooksey's Ghosts and Goblins. Number five. Yeah, it's an AY chip, which the ST has as well. Hey, Game Hammer, Zoe, welcome. How you doing? Oh, we'll have this on. This is a good one. I'll turn it up as well. Enjoy just for a second, guys. For a minute. Hang on, I've got to go sort this out. Give me another 30 seconds, one minute. The cat's about to get booted out up the arse, out the house. Just give me one minute.
Oh, right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Right, I just have to sort out a terrible mess in the cat litter tray. Bury it under a mountain of uh, cat litter. We'll get a fan going in here to get rid of the smell. Sorry about that. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Kate has donated one pound. Zypho check Elizabeth's biscuits. If there aren't enough there, that might have been a protest dump. Top them up for her. Top them up for her? She's lucky to have any biscuits at all. She can sod off, stupid cat. Thank you, Mrs. Zypho, for the one pound. Stupid cat. Zypho blaming the cat for the smell, poor thing. Same, same as Mrs. Zypho. I did a stinky dog. Could have been. Quite possibly retro on him. Careful, you might get in trouble with Mrs. Zypho for saying that. You really want to hear aquatic ambience? Well then, quickly then, we're going to set up the um, Am's music quiz. Okay? We're going to have a little music quiz. Alright? There's that. I'm going to do a name that tune. Community Am's. We're going to have a little community game now, uh, boys and girls. Alright. Okay. So we played this a few weeks back. We're gonna play some music, and you're gonna have to name that tune that I'm playing. Okay, not not this one. This is on the bloody screen now. You like this secure Bjorn? Cool. Um. Right. Right. I'm gonna pick one. Um. Okay, okay, chat. Okay. How did I do this last time? Alright, okay. Uh... Right. Uh... So, we have an online leaderboard we can do. Now we had it from last time. Do you remember this? And if you get, a, if you score, you get a point. I can add it here and so forth. So if we have anyone that. Um, oh, Matt Myers. Hello, Matt. Welcome in. And Lolo. Welcome in. Welcome in. And David Wedge. Hello, David Wedge. Welcome in. And I see we've got some extra players, more more than we had last time. So if your name's not here, I will add it in as we go along if you score a point. We can have a leaderboard. So, chat. Now, just a, um, a couple of things. A couple of things. Right, first of all, some people's chat and the, uh, the uh, how it works. The first person to get it right um, will get the point. Okay? And as long as it's clearly the game, then you win. So if you spell if you spell I don't know. Oh right, okay. This is my phone shouting at me. Right. Um so if you spell the game wrong, I don't know, let's give an example. Um I don't know. Um I don't know. You type lemmings and you spell it with um, with an A. La lemmings or something like that. I'll allow it. It's clearly clearly meant the game or something. Um, but um, if it's a sequel and you put the name the game without like the letter two after it or something. I don't know. It's Rick Dangerous too, and you just put Rick Dangerous, then you're wrong. Do you know what I mean? Okay? So you've got to be Rick Dangerous too, not Rick Dangerous, okay? Um second of all, some people's chat and the order that their messages appear in is sometimes different 
to someone else's. Okay, this cropped up last time. So, the order of your messages might be different. Okay. So, for example, you can see, like, uh, Matt Myers there is below Jolly on my stream. But someone's chat order on their phone or on their PC might have Jolly's below Matt Myers's. Right? So... This order on the stream above is key, okay? So, if you're like, hang on, I was first before so-and-so, okay? The order is this on the stream. So, if you're like, hang on, I was be first before someone else. This order here is the order I'm going on. And this is the order that wins, okay? You're confused. So it's first person to guess right for terrible copying of, of, um, of the music, okay? I'm going to play a song from an Amstrad game and you, you've got to guess what the game is, okay? Right, it's as simple as that. Okay. That's as simple as that. Music's too loud. Oh, sorry, can you not hear me very well? I'm ever so sorry. Sorry, it is a bit too loud. So it's first person to guess correctly. Now the order on someone's, ch uh, you know, the chat, the live chat, it might be out of order on some people's phones just due to lag or something like that. So some people's messages might appear in a different order due to like lag and stuff like that. This order that appears on the stream is king. This is the order it's going in, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah? Hey, Cosmic Murmur, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, okay, let's start. I'm gonna do music quiz, name that tune and game. Okay, all right, okay, first tune of the night. Are you ready? Let me just check this works. All right, okay. Are we ready? Okay, this should be an easy one. Are we ready, chat? I'm going to draw kind of a line in the sand in the chat. Okay, the answers below this. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Guess. A nice easy one, hopefully. Name that tune. Name that Anne's tune. What game is this? Oh, hang on. Bloody hell. I mute that alert. Mongoose vomiting. Oh, I can unmute that. The timing on that's a bit unfortunate. That was an easy one. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Retric you. You were correct. That was Terminator 2. RetroQ, you were the winner last time. So, for those of you answering a Volo and Terrible Coughing with Terminator, you were incorrect. You would need Terminator 2 to win on that one. So, that was a good one to start with. Because um, you would need the number 2 after. So, your answers were incorrect, Volo and Terrible Coughing. But RetroQ gets the first point tonight. So, RetroQ plus 1. Let's check this works. The RetroQ goes in the lead there. There you go. RetroQ at the top there. Well done. That was Terminator 2 Judgment Day. You don't need to give me Judgment Day. There we go. Well done. And sorry. Thank you, Mongoose Vomiting Gems for the one pound there. Good grief. Thank you. Mongoose Vomiting Gems. Good fortune be bestowed upon thee. Thou shalt pass that stone next time thou pee. What in the God's name is that? Thank you, Mongoose Vomiting Gems. Which was 
Man shovel! Thank you, man shovel! Exclamation mark pumpkins in the chat for man shovel. No idea what that was, man shovel. Oh, sorry, just move that off for more wallet. Thank you, man shovel. Thank you. I've no idea what the fart you are on about there, man shovel, but I love you, bro. I love you. Thank you, man shovel. All right. I'm going to choose the next game. I'm looking at my shelf of games. And I'm going to pick another one. All right. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. I'm going to... I'm going to do another easy one. I'll do an easy one. I'll do another easy one. I picked that one because everyone should probably recognise that from the movie. So a nice easy one to get you, get get everyone going there. Okay. Oh, interesting. This one doesn't have the music file. Okay. I'm going to have to choose a different one then. Okay. Um... Okay. All right, okay. Um... All right, okay. All right, I'm going to tr like troll you this one. Ooh, shall I do a difficult one? I'm going to do a difficult one. I'm going to do a difficult one, potentially. Potentially a difficult one. Shall we do a difficult one? I might do a difficult one. Okay. All right. Line in the sand. Are you ready to name that tune? Three, two, one. Line in the sand. Go. This might be a difficult one. Name that Ams tune. This is a difficult one. Potentially. <laughs> I'll give you a clue shortly. No one's getting it so far. No one's got it so far. Let me just double check. Wow. I did. Uh, I. Uh... <laughs> All right, Clue. I've been slightly trolly here. I've been slightly trolly. So I've picked a deep cut. All right, second clue. Second clue of the night. Second clue for this one. It gets up. It gets requested a lot. It gets this game get this game gets requested a lot. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. We have a winner. And Pat McNose, you are going to be kicking yourself. You are going to be kicking yourself. It's red heat. Pat McNose, hang your head in shame. GP. I'm not playing it, no. 
Who was it there? Sorry again. It was Batman 77. Batman, do I have your name on this leaderboard? Here? I do. Batman 77 with the point there. I know that's kind of evil for people that are not regularly here. So we'll pick a different we'll pick a different song that probably people who are not as regular here will get. Shocking. That d Jolly, you're right. It does mean he can't pick that game or request that game ever again. The game hammer, Zoe. We had, we did have Bridget last time on the quiz. <laughs> Everyone got it within seconds as well. Can I, can I stop playing this now? God, that's an awful tune. Can you believe that's a Jonathan Dunn composition? Can you believe that? Wow. <laughs> Jonathan Dunn, normally, um, it was some fantastic um, music on the Amstrad, actually composed that. All right, okay, next game. Right, what we what we getting then? <clears throat> right, okay, what are we picking next then? Right, next game, let's pick one quickly then. I'm looking at my shelf here. All right, uh, actually, no, let's go for an easy one. Let's go for an easier one. Um... All right. Right. Actually, let's pause my music here and just mute things. Let me just check the song here. All right. Okay. All right, an easy one. An easy one. An ease should be an easy, 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 easy peasy lemon squeezy one. All right, are you ready, chat? Okay, in three, two, one. Hang on, oops. Ready? All right, three, two, one. Guess that tune. Here we go. Oh, Lewis, I'll have to replay that. We're in the middle of a music quiz. I'll re uh, Lewis, I'll replay that for you in just a second. Lewis, I love you, man. Just give me a minute here. Yeah, we've got winners already. We've got winners already. Higher. Oh, you should, it's from a movie, you see, Blue Planet. Yeah, right. We've got winners already. Yeah, higher. Well done. Ghostbusters 2. From Ghostbusters 2. You never played Bomb Jack for us. He didn't have any music, Jolly. Jolly, Bomb Jack had no music at all. Who got that first there? Is it a no music? <laughs> You got the music eventually, Game Hammer. And that was Robin Hook. Robin Hook. Retro Games Wiz with a point there. Let me see. Where are you? Do I have you in this? Yeah, there you are. Robin Hook with a point there. Hang on a second. Let me just pause out there because Lewis Watto. Oh, hang on. I didn't replay there, did it? Did it come through? Oh, there it is! Lewis Waddo! The lovely Lou! Whoa! Mr. Lewis Waddo! Evening AMS fans, the AMS squad and Zypho. Happy birthday to the 464. <laughs> Big Mahoos 8-bit love to one and all. Oh, thank you, Lewis. What a lovely message. And thank you for the five pounds, dude. Thank you very, very much. Uh, big happy happy birthday to the 44. Big Mahoos 8-bit love to one and all. A big Mahoos 8-bit love back at you, Lou. Cheers, mate. Thank you, matey. Exclamation mark bananas and exclamation mark doggo in the chat for Lewis. So you always love that. Thank you, Lou. Cheers, dude. Cheers, dude. Thank you very, very much. Old Lang Syne. We'll put the, uh, that on quickly. 
what we do, will I just choose the next one? Thank you, Lewis. I hope all is good in the arcade club, mate. Are you going to OLL this weekend? I don't know if you go to that retro gaming convention or not. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you very, very much, mate. Cheers. Hope all is good of you and the family and the doggos. We're having a bit of a music quiz at the moment. Feel free to join in. Right, I'm going to choose the next game. Uh, quickly. Right, what we pick in. Alright, oh, okay, I've got one. Okay. Ooh. Alright, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Right, can I just mute this? Let me just test the music quickly. Oh, this one might be a. This one's gonna be slightly tougher. Ah, oh, ban the tuna want. Right, number three here. I had to, I had to get the right tunes. Some some of the sometimes these tunes and CPT power are slightly out of order. Um. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Are you ready, chat? Here we go. Okay, in. I love a bit of Ghostbusters. Excellent, Lewis. Excellent. Right. In. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, What's that? Sorry. Uh, Mike Gammon says, Ghostbusters 2 now, where's your point? Only one person gets the point, Mike Gammon. Um, so next year, 40th April, will be the 40th anniversary of the CPC. That's right, David Wedge. 40th anniversary. We're going to do something special for that. Don't you worry. OSG says, easy. You think you don't think that was easy? I thought everyone's seen Ghostbusters 2 and would know that one. Um, uh, I don't know any of these. My Amstrad card is in serious jeopardy. All right, okay. After this one, this one's a little bit tougher, chat. I'll give you that one. I'll try and do a really super easy one after this one. This one's going to be a little bit harder. This one's hard, I would say. I'd say this is medium to hard. And I promise you, the one after this one, we'll try and do a really easy one. Okay? Okay? All right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Here we go. You only had one headphone in. Oh, that's your problem, OSG. Get your hearing aid and hearing trumpet in. Oh, Hey, Pop Productions, how you doing? Welcome. You thought this... Wow. A lot of people getting it or very close. I thought this was hard. A lot of people getting it. You're right, it's Super Monaco GP. Exactly. You find uh, our GP in Super Monaco. That's right, Super Monaco GP. Who got it first there? It was RetroQ. RetroQ. With another point on the board. Oh, he's playing the other tunes there. RetroQ, two points already. A lot of people getting it there as well. People strawberry cat in CPC land. Bloody hell. Um, people getting Chase HQ and Continental Circus, like Anna and Magic Knight. So close there, Anna and Magic Knight. Yeah, WC Demands and Hang On and stuff. All right, for Zoe and others, let's go for a re try and get a really easy one if we can. If we can. Right, I'm having a thing. I'm having a thing. I'm having a look at my shell. I'm having a look at my shell.
I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's pause that a second. Right. Um, what would be what's a? Uh... <laughs> it's looking at the shelf for clues. Supermarket sweep. Oh, it's Mike off. Um. Hey, thank you, Mike. Cheers, dude. I appreciate that. It's nice of you to say so. Thank you, my friend. Try to keep it a bit varied tonight as much as I can. Thank you, Mike. Have a great weekend, dude. Take care. All right. Okay, let's go for... I, I think this is pretty famous. I think this is pretty famous. We'll go We'll go for this. Okay. All right. All right. Let's pour, mute my music. Um... All right, yeah, I mean, this is kind of an iconic tune, um, but not too iconic. So, yeah, iconic. All right, okay, are we ready, chat? Line in the sand, in the chat, the notes, here we go. All right. Uh, oh, hang on, actually, have I got the right tune here? Let's see. Yeah, I've got it ready, I've got it ready. Right. Three, two, one, and go. There we go. Have you got that, Zoe? <laughs> Extra points to the composer. Yeah, go for it, actually. Can anyone... Well, I can't give you extra points. Do you know what? Go on then, I'll give you an extra point for the comp well Go on then, I'll get you I'll give you an extra point for the composer. This is very unknown actually. You're right actually, Mr. Neon. It's not Michael Barrymore. Bloody hell. Yes, of course it's Target oh, Renegades. There you go. There you go. It's not Andy Bloody Onions or Phil McCracken. Target Renegades, who got there first? Chiefy, there are thousands. Even I have come across so many games I've never even played myself bro, through the streams. Every stream, almost. There's a, the, the, there could be a game I've come across I've never even heard of. And it's like wonderful coming across them. There are simply thousands and thousands of answer games. Mansion will introduce us to Zalbishloss and um, Tronic Verlag. What's going on here? Oh, sorry. Music's going weird there. Who got it first there? It was Paul Henderson, Fenrir. Well done, Fenrir. There you go. I shouldn't really be giving bonus points out, but Mr. Neon, I'll add you on here. Hang on. Mr. Neon. Uh... Go on then, you can have a point. That's the only bonus point I'm going to give out tonight. Alright, alright, otherwise we're going to get, get silly. We're going to get silly. Hey, no worries, Game Hammer. Take care, Zoe. Good night. Thanks for popping in tonight. Take care and have a lovely weekend. I hope we will catch you soon and good luck on your streams as well. Zoe's an excellent streamer. She streams Amstrad and other retro on her YouTube channel. So uh, check out Game Hammer. What's happening with this music? Oh, it just loops around, doesn't it? Right, okay. Right, okay. Next game. What are we doing then? Uh, we'll do a couple more and then we'll do some game. Or we'll play some games for a little bit and then we'll carry on with the music quiz a little bit later again, okay? Right, um... We do a hard one. 
Oh, I haven't thought of the next one. Alright, okay. Okay, I've got an idea for one. I've got an idea for one. Let's check this out. Bear with me, chat. Yeah. Yeah, why not? We'll try this one. Might be medium, medium to hard, this one. Okay, are you ready, chat? In three... I wish he's cheating. He's moaning. Is he? That's not cheating. Never have I ever seen Bradley Wells sit making questions up on the quiz. <laughs> Don't do a hard one, Zypha, or GP will get turned on. Mm. He's, he's permanently turned on, I think, by looking at him in the streams. Anyway, three, two, one. I'd say medium, this one. Mediums are hard. I don't know. You never know how hard or easy some of these are. All right, three, two, one, go! Bomb Jack. Mmm. Okay. Making people think. Set this up. Oops. Right. Hang on. Oh, I think someone's got it. Someone's got it. It is. Total Recall! Well done, I think ba Batman that got it first there. Let's have a look. Let's check in the chat. It was Batman, I think. Did anyone get that above Batman? Let me just check my chat window. Mr. Neon's like, hmm. It was Batman 77. Pop Productions also got it later there. Well done, Batman. It was Batman. Batman gets another point now. He's level with Retro Q. Well done. Was that tuned in the movie? No, no. There we go. Another Jonathan Dunn tune there. So that's good, good stuff from Jonathan, t Jonathan Dunn. Well. Cannot recall this totally. Get your ass to Mars. But yeah. Do have a Jonathan John Dunn tune? I need to pick up something different, don't I? Alright. Alright. Maybe something harder? I'm having a look at my shell. For, for inspiration. Okay, all right, sure. I've got one. I've got one. Okey dokey. All right, all right. These as quick as I can, really. Try and get as much in as we can. Give people as much chance. Hmm. Um, no, I've changed my mind on that one. Changed my, changed my mind on that one. That was crap. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 
I'm um, found one. Found one. Found one. Okie dokie. Right, ready, chat? R okay. Um, get ready for a surprise. I love that. <laughs> Total recall. Can't beat that. See you at the party, Richter. Okay. Are you ready, chats? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Could be pretty easy, I think. <laughs> too probably too easy. Probably too easy. Yeah, a lot of people have got that one already. Shinobi. Yes. Oh my goodness. Batman seventy seven getting it again. Bloody hell. Batman 77 going into the lead of three points. Do I, do I need to make this tougher, chat? Does this need to be tougher? I think we need to go budget game next. We need to go budget games next, I reckon. Yeah, big budget games next. You were robbed, GP. I must be miles behind here, like. Maybe Control F5, refresh. Maybe refresh your streams or something like that. Make sure you're caught up or something like that. You whooped are you, Man Shovel? Go to Lurky Lurky. Have an awesome night. Cheers, everyone. No worries, Man Shovel. No worries, mate. Thank you again for the Dono Donos. Thank you, mate. Appreciate you, as always. Man Shovel, you're an absolute legend and gentleman. Take care, Man, Take care, man Shovel. And have an awesome weekend, mate. Right, what are we going for? What are we going for? I tripped you up on some last time, didn't I, boys and girls? Uh. Oh yeah, we're gonna go budget game. I know, I know, I know, I know what I'm doing. Right, okay. I know what we're doing. Right, okay. Okay, all right, okay. This might trip a few of you up. This might trip a few of you up. Okay, are you ready, chat? Line, music notes in the sand in the chat. Ready, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Game title if you can. I mean, uh, yeah, if you can get a full game title if you can. Spelling mistakes are okay. <laughs> we have a winner. We already have a winner. Striker in the Crypt of Trojan. That sequel to um, by the same guy who did Switchblade. Yes, veteran. One. It has the intro sequel to the Wizard with the Wavy Arms. Yes. Striker the Crypt of Trojan. And that goes to Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz. Well, that was um, quite memorable music. Well done, Robin Hook. Well done. Hello, Karalco. Welcome. I thought we'd start with um, a, a tough, budgety one. 
the tune though. Maud, you thought you'd know this, yeah. Maybe I'll go for an easier budget game next. We'll go for an easier budget one next. Okay, chat. Alright. I know the one I'm doing. I know the one I'm doing next. I know the one I'm doing next. We're going to go for an easier budget game next. Okay, chat. Alright. Okay. All right, this one should be super easy, okay? I would say, all right. I think it was Ben Dagley she did that shoot. I've, I've just closed off the browser while I was looking at it then. All right, okay. Are you ready, uh, are ready boys and girls? Okay, three, two, one. Guess that Am's tune. Here we go. <laughs> oh, lots of people got this already. I said I'd give you an easy one. Of course, it's Kane. It's Kane. And Fenrir. Paul Henderson was first there. I did used to have the Ams horse. Do you remember? We had the Ams horse. I don't know if I still got it or not, I think I do. Oh, the AM source is broken. Oh, never mind. So, Fenrir, there you are. Oh, another point on the board. Fenrir, you got two. Batman's still in the lead with three, though. Fenrir, Retro Q, Robin Hook on two, Mr. Neon on one. Alright. Try and get maybe a couple more. And then, um,. Go back to play and show me having some games. We'll come back to the uh, music quiz in a bit. All right, okay. The am source is broken. I just tried to bring up the am source and it failed. Don't know why it's broken. Anyway, right. Should we do another budgety one? I think we will. I think we will. All right. That's enough of that. All right, let's... Okay. No budget. No budget. We'll stick with budget. All right, let's go... Let's go this. Let's see. All right. All right. Okay, this might be easy. Another, another easy, easy, uh, easyish budget one. But right again, maybe for uh, mm, um, yeah. Okay, remember to get like the full title ish. Okay, in this one. Okay, you ready, chat? Three, two, one, one, go. <laughs> GTA We already have a winner though. We already have a winner. I'm just letting people have a few more guesses and talk to you. Horace goes to Hollywood. No. It's Magic Land Dizzy. And Barry Roadworld, aka Malamut, got it there. Someone should create an 8-bit Shazam just to cheat on my AMS quiz. 
Good tune. Yeah. Magic Land Dizzy. Mr. Barry Roadwalt. Got it there. Well done, mate. Points on the board for Barry, aka Malamut. There you go. Point on the board there. Alright. Maybe we'll go back to full price now. Well done. Well done. Alright, let me have a thing. Let me have a thing. Alright, I, I, I think I know what I'm going for. Alright, okay. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty easy. Should we go for an easy one? Yep, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Should be freaking easy. Freaking easy. So be quick off the mark. Are you ready? Okay. In three, two, one. Best contest ever. Thank you, Karelko. You still crap. OSG, you should get this one, I reckon. I reckon you should get this one. Just be quick. Um there is a full title really long full title to this one. I'll accept the first like second half to it, I think, or some. I don't know. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I'll be putting sci-fi emotes in the chat for that. Dragon Gingers versus Bold Dudes. <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> It's Dragon Ninja or Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. I'm gonna have to give that. I'll accept Dragon Ninja. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give that to Arnie the Viking. I know Jonah. It's John Dunn again. I'm gonna have to get away from John Dunn, aren't I? I'm gonna have to pick another music artist and pick one of their games. That might be the way to do it. Arnie the Viking, points on the board for Arnie. Um, Batman got it there as well. Respect to B Barry Roadwell for typing the full title there, as well as um, Magic like scrambling his answer in there. I would just about have accepted that if he got that first. And Robin Hook as well. As I was saying, I, I would accept half, half the name there as well. Right. I tell you what, Jonah, give me a music artist and I'll pick a game. Jonah, I, give me a music artist I haven't covered yet, and I'll pick a, I'll pick a, I'll pick a game from that artist. You know, good at this music quiz. Oh, sorry, Matt Myers, Whitaker, fair play. I love Whitaker's stuff. I know one. Alright, okay. If you've been paying attention to my channel, you sh no, it's too much of a hint, probably. Okay. Okie dokie, right. Alright, this one might be tough. This one might be tough, but you'll see. You'll see. Are you ready, chat? Dave Rogers will be too easy. You can tell Dave Rogers, actually, because he's, he's, he's only done a few for Houston. 
Right, okay, here we go. Name that tune in three, two, one, go. My goodness! We have winners! Ding 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 ding! Is Elevator Action! Well done! Who was there first? The real Odie! The real Odie! Well done, the real Odie! Do we have you on here? How you doing, Odie? I hope you're keeping well, my friend. Oh no, we need to as you on. There you go. Let's add, add your points on. You're on the board. Okay, top stuff. There you are, you're on the board. I keep saying we'll, we'll do a couple more, then we'll move on. But I think we'll do a couple more. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Alright, we'll do, a, we'll do a couple more David Whittakers. Hahaha. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I know which one I'm doing. It's a this might be tough, but if you I think if you know the game, then Yeah. Hang on. Let's see if I Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Alright, chat. Ready. Never mind, have I heard this? Ah, if you watch my videos on my YouTube channel, OSG, I did a full um, video on that a few months back. It shows how much attention you pay to me. Anyway, never mind. Hey, Retro Busts, how you doing, Rob? Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome. Um, Ghost and the Goblin's best music. Oh yeah, we featured that on the last music quiz. Everyone got that within seconds. All right, next next one. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. The David Whittaker one. That's all I'm telling you. Might trip you up, I don't know. Someone's got it. Someone's got it. Someone's got it. I don't think anyone else is getting close to it. So, it was Arcade Flight Simulator. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I'll do an easy one next. The last one for Whitaker. Arcade Flight Simulator. Now the thing is there, the thing is, Batman 77, Arcade Flight Simulator. But before that, Maud got Advanced Flight Simulator. I'm so close. I don't think I could give it to you, Maud. It's 
Ooh. Advanced. Arcade. Ooh. I think I've got to give it to Batman there, haven't I, Maud? Oh. Well, the thing is, it doesn't fit at all the music. In the first level, you are on, you are in World War One in a biplane, and then you fly planes in World War Two, and then on level three, you are in a F-14 Tomcat. More, that's so close. Sh shall I give a point to Maud as well as Batman? Terminator 2 music was earlier, Paul Hager. We did have Terminator 2 music earlier, actually, in the music quiz. Chat, what do you reckon? Should I give a point to Maud as well as Batman? No points for Maud. Oh, my God. OSG, you are evil and grumpy. So, um... Batman definitely gets a point. Oh, my God. He's four points now. No points for more, says GP. Or Anna was G. Alright, I suppose we've got to be strict, haven't we? You are harsh! You are harsh! Can I have a point for participation? Oh, God. Yeah, that's the thing. People be clamouring for points for all sorts of stuff, I suppose. I've got to be strict, and I? Alright, one more David Whittaker one. Do you, want a, do you want a really, really easy one? Oh my god, he's done so many tunes. Do you want a really easy one? How are you doing, Paul? Good to see you, Mr. Hagger. Welcome again. Uh, he didn't do any Amsoft games, we're doing some David Whittaker tunes. Oh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. Let me just mute that. Right, okay, okay. Um, let me just check this song out quickly. I'll, you, you, I'll sign some... Two minutes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. It'd be fastest finger first, I think. Type in, uh, I think, for this one. Who will get probably get it the quickest, but it might throw you off which game it is. I don't know. All right. This one's super easy. This one's probably super easy. Okay. This one's super easy, I'd say. Okay. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready? This is David Whittaker. Another David Whittaker tune. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Quick as, quick as you can, probably, in this one. You ready? Three, two, one. Go! An easy one. Should be. Not twin bloody turbo. I want this to be super easy. It's a James Bond. You just have to guess which James Bond game. It's a famous James Bond song, isn't it? Robbie Williams Millennium. Come on, bad retro on limb. Get him out of here, bloody scouse knobhead. <laughs> You're right, it was License to Kill. It's the game over music from License to Kill. Who got it first? Who got it first there? It's bloody Batman 77 again. 
Holy crap, he's five points in the lead. Jesus. Well done. There you go. But yes, license to kill. License to kill there. Quiz over. All right, we're going to take a break from the quiz now. I'm going to do some um, Amstrad CPC 464 gaming. Hmm, I'm not sure which era of the Amstrad CPC 464 we should delve into. We're going to come back to the quiz again in a little bit. We're going to do some more music quiz in a little bit because that was fun. Did you enjoy that? I'm going to keep the scores. You got a chance to get more score and catch up with Batman 77. All right. You're going to bed now. <laughs> Are you a bit pit? Are you a bit sloshed? Night night, OSG. Good night, OSG. Take care, man. Have a great weekend. Oh, instead of playing this. Let me get rid of... Alright, instead of that, let's put on some Jonah's music. And... Let's unpause that. Which one haven't we played from here yet? Oh. Shadow of the Beast, Eerie Forest. David Whittaker song. Remember David Whittaker one? The Jonah's music here. So, we're going to go back and do some Amstrad CPC 464 gaming. What classic game from the Amstrad CPC 464's um, life? We want a real classic, classic Amstrad CPC 464 game. You know, a real notable standout, big Amstrad CPC 464 game. Suggestions in the chat. Oh, we haven't done the Rob Hubbard one, have we? Last V8. You're right. I think we played the Yimmy Forest one, haven't we? Jonah. Good call. So we're going to put number four on here. Rob Hubbard, the last V8 in-game tune. Cool. Chase HQ, that's a good shout. I've got the t-shirt on tonight. Let me just stretch my legs while the requests come in. Oh, oh I need to change the uh, tune to feature. There we go, hang on. Red Heat, bloody hell. Jet Set Willy. Terminator 2. Mm. Another request for Chase HQ. Pixel Gamer, welcome in Pixel Gamer. It's a really good conversion the last V8 music. Jonah Ship is the um, composer here that's converted it to the uh, Amstrad for us. You can thank him in the chat if you want to. Shadow Beast is not a good game though, so plenty of Amigas though. Very impressive looking, yeah. Yeah, that's really good, uh, Paul. Yeah, I like how the scroll changes the show in the Fair Valley Picks as well. Rock and Wrestling, it's not really a standout game on the Amstrad. Maybe later, FC. It's not really a proper request night tonight in terms of that. We're trying to celebrate the Amstrad. Maybe, maybe. Um, welcome back, FC though. Shinobi is a good share and is Barbarian. I don't know, but maybe it's, maybe it's a bit of a hidden gem, Rock and Wrestle. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. And Dizzy's a good shout as well. Did you find trap? 
trapdoor. Yeah, we've got a couple then. I think. I think. You know, you be busy. And I'll put down Rock and Wrestle. Maybe have a quick look at Rock and Wrestle. Oh, yeah, Barbarian. They're good shouts. They're good shouts. Alright. Go on then. Go on then. Okay. Alright. I mean, we can't have a night where we don't have. Why oh, is this not loading up? Okay. Kind of a night we don't have a quick look at Chase HQ. <laughs> but I have some Willy. Was that? Do you mean minor Willy? Now technically, I'm probably loading up the 128k version. All the 128k version is is land loads up some sampled speech, and it loads up all the levels in uh, one go. So on the 64k, I'm CPC464 version, you wouldn't have the sampled speech and you would have to load in the levels separately. So that's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, question for the chat then, while we have a little player chase HQ. Um, what 464 related question should we, ha should we give you? Hmm. Oh yeah, you can change the language to fr uh, French if you want on this. Um, I don't know. We all know, um, two questions. Vortex 4 tends to get a bit mocked for being too wide. Is the Amstrad 464 really too wide? Is it ridiculously too wide? And second of all, it also gets mocked for having like colourful keys. You know, you got although the uh, my my chroma key um, is like basically turning my green keys dark. You can see it on my overlay. It's got bright green keys, red keys. There's the red key here, um, and you got the blue, bright blue. You got the bright blue key and all that kind of stuff. People mock it for saying it looks a bit childish for having the bright blue, green and red keys on it and all that kind of stuff. I think this looks really cool in 80s and all that kind of stuff. And I think it makes it stand out. Question for the chat. Do you think um, with its coloured keys on the keyboard in red, blue and green next to like, the grey black colours, do you think it looks childish or do you think it looks cool? All right. <laughs> A lot of retro keyboards have coloured accents. And Matt Meyer says, I don't think it looks, it's too wide, Zypho. I think the colour keys make it look interesting. Matt Meyer, Robin Hook says, I love it. I, I certainly, when I um, saw it as a kid, I thought it looked absolutely awesome. Hold on, man. Oh, hold on, man. Oh, yeah. We could get to the Ams car, can't we? Bloody hell, I forgot about this. To the Ams car. <laughs> Oh, in the AMS car. And we can also add the police light. Yes. All right, we're ready. Ch Christ, uh, Ch me and Lord Sugar here. Old Shugs. Chasing down the crims. The Enterprise totally copied its colour scheme. <laughs> Don't talk to me about Enterprise, though. I've been trying to get an Enterprise emulator working. It's most appalling... There's only about one working emulator on the scene, and it is absolutely appalling trying to get one sodding game to load on it. Doesn't look childish at all. Looks cool and different. 
Bright keys are awesome, says Maud. And that was Magic Knight saying it doesn't charge at all. Assume you might, but all in one unit love the colour keys. Yeah. Schneider version was dual for a dual market. Yeah, when they put the dark, the grey keys on that thing, it just looked boring. Yeah. It was childish, hence why I loved it as a kid. I thought it was just the most awesome thing I'd ever seen when I when I saw it the first time. Oh, excuse me a second. Oh, sorry. Oh. Needed that. The Ams Lotus. The old good old Ams car brought, brought, brought you out the garage for the ones. Let's go, Mr. Sugar. Matt Corbin! Hello, Matt. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Your current keyboard is all colourful. I mean, mine's got all RGB lighting behind the keys, and it, like, flashes colours all the bloody time. Is it any... Is, is the Amstrad CPC 464 keyboard end much different to the keyboards of today? That most like kids have with RGB lighting. I'm a grown adult with RGB lighting on my bloody keyboard. You see plenty of streamers and kids with their PC units with RGB lighting inside, showing it off on their desks and all that kind of stuff. Was the Amstrad CPC 464 keyboard just the RGB lighting of the time? <laughs> In that way. Or am I just talking utter nonsense? Don't worry about clipping the walls in the tunnel here. You're fine doing that. And if you haven't crashed, you don't need to use a turbo here to catch, catch up to the trims. Oh, Nancy's having a... Nancy's crossed with me. Someone is working on a bit of a remake and update of Chase HD on the Amstrad scene. I don't think they're going to be changing much of the code or anything like that. Just giving it a little bit of a lick of paint. Right, here we are. Wow! Bear down! Shame he's got away here. Because there's lots of bends. You don't really want to use the turbo here. A long ash bend here. Nowhere to use your turbos on because now you're kind of on a looping track. Here, I think. Now the road just kind of like loops around on a continuous loop. Okay, pull over, Creek. 25 seconds to go. Let's go. Higher frame rate update. That would be good, FC Den Haag. But I don't know. They said they might look at the code to try and see if there's anything they can do to improve the frame rate. But it's the same people that were that looked at the ER Kung Fu um, game, and they got a, they got it going faster by taking out like the hit markers on the game. Kind of like spoiled ER Kung Fu for me a bit. I don't know, so. CPC64 had horrid cursor keys. It did, let's be honest. 6128 had no colours on its keys, but it did look nice and professional. I quite like the look of the 6128, even without the coloured keys. But Robin says 6128 with coloured keys would have been cool. Let's go, Mr. Driver. Let's go, Mr. Driver. You think it made it Yeah, Kung Fu worse, so, yeah. I'd rather Gecko work on Chase HQ, given his good work on, like, 
Renegade, but... Let's see what they do. You never know. You never know. Target vehicle has turned, probably turned left of the head. Oh, we had to really slow down there a lot. The traffic was sucked there. Graphics on Chase HQ by Bill Harbidson of this parish. Hi Bill if you're watching. Code by oh hang on. John O'Brien or Breen is it? Who did WC Le Mans? We had a good session on WC Le Mans last week, if you remember, if you were watching. Not the fastest run I've done here. We might have to use a turbo. Normally you can still catch up the criminal without using a turbo. There we go. I'll take a little pause in a sec and I'll catch up the chat fully. Still concentrating this out. Such as concentration. Is this the right place to do this? I forget now. Not bad. He's over halfway done. This is good. No, that's bad. I hate how you just speeds away like that. That's like... But, um, you have to remember the AI, the enemy cars here, they haven't, they haven't really got a, any artificial intelligence. They're on a predetermined path. But once you know their path, and how they speed away suddenly like that, they're entirely predictable. And we got it. We didn't even use the last turbo there. Yay! There we go. Hey, Game Hammer Zoe, welcome back. How you doing? Welcome. Um. Uh, lovely powder, blue colour on the keys, at least until they turned all your in colours. Yeah, you don't want them faded. Uh, thankfully, looking at my 664, the keys are still quite nice, Anthony. Welcome in, Anthony. How are you doing? And how's your work going on the uh, Bomb Jack remake? Man, everyone's super excited about that. Um, yeah, that Renegade update was a fantastic main haze. CC4 was ugly one of its one of its weaknesses. Mm. CC4C was much better in my opinion. Oh. Pause up there a second. Let me just catch up the chat uh, properly. 6128 needed some colour on it. It's too serious to party up with this 464 and 664. Yeah. Although Amstrad were definitely, definitely targeting that business market on it. Maybe too much colour would have put off that important business market. They were deadly serious on that, weren't they? It's the sugar chasing that big dollar market. <laughs> Blue Panic desperate to play some Chase XQ himself now. Uh-oh. Uh, I wonder if removing Chase XQ top hood would help increase the frame rate. Unlikely. They're already squished the screen down to try and get it moving faster, haven't they? 
I don't know what they could do to improve the frame rate here. There's probably not much they could do. Probably not much to do. Probably, they'll probably remove all set. Probably remove the sound. To be honest, would improve the frame rate. But no. Um, this needs the siren noise. Yes, Magic Knight. I've asked them to add it in. And that will probably slow it down further. That's the problem. What 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 was the game like this where you shot at them? Was that Chase HQ too? That's right. Um, special Criminal Investigations. Yes. Don't bring worked on the Batman and Robin game for the Mega Drive with all the fancy special effects. Did he? Right. He was a talented coder. Terrible coffin. I'm sure need to follow up to the GX4000. Oh, bad, man. If only. Uh, long since dead, the company. I can't blame him for chasing the business dollar given how much their PC range kicked ass. Doesn't mean he couldn't have had a different shading on the keys here and there, though. Yeah, he could have sexed it up a little bit without cutting off the boring business client. I wonder how he could have done that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. And again, those P PCs in the 80s were so dull as well. Grey and beige. I don't know. Pix128 was far sexier than most PCs, though, by an absolute mile. But yeah. Nikita said it took him six months to optimize Devil Temple. Guess maybe if Ocean have more time or a model can make Chase XQ smoother. Yeah. There's probably optimizations that could be made. The code for this and what he's fitted in is absolutely stunning in the first place. Who knows, GP? Who knows? Blue Bomb Jack, I'm chipping away. I'll do a few little tasks per week. I'll do a bit when I have time. This game is fully working now. <gasps> Just need to figure out the proper order of enemies next. Holy crap. Can't wait, Anthony. Can't wait. All right, level three. Level three this is where things get a little bit tougher now. And this is where you really need good knowledge of the roads and the layout and where the big big bends are and stuff. We'll see if I can one credit this. Oh, there's a knack of me. Oh, no, we're right. It wasn't too much of a big bend. All right. Pink countryside. It's freaking amazing how they got hills and dips and stuff like that. Sprite scaling at the side of the road is like so well done. And there's bridges, bridges as well, tunnels. How they made this work and just keep it still playable is absolutely freaking amazing. maintain a sense of speed yeah the frame rate is really low but like man it's still amazingly fun and playable right we might need to use a turbo here got a long bend here and we've got lots of traffic in the way i think we'll catch up with him though just Oh yeah, don't use a turbo before you catch it because you have this long ass bend. It'd be a waste of a turbo. After this bet, after here, you can use a turbo. I remember now. Now you can get lots of hits in. Ah, bit of a bet long bend here. Don't use a turbo.
Oh! I shouldn't have used it. Oh, I shouldn't have used it there. Oh! GP! GP has donated one pound. Is that the real GP? With a link to a YouTube video. Oh no. Oh no. When GP links to a YouTube video, this can be bad. What's this about GP? Uh, Outrun comparison. Atari ST versus STE version. I don't think I can show this on the stream, uh, GP. This is to uh, another YouTuber's channel. And I don't want to get um, copyright claimed. Um, first of all, oh, sorry, you some dancing sugars. GP, thank you very, very much um, for the one pound dono. Uh, Pat McNulls, GP, uh, do you want to explain what, what, what is this about? Uh, I, I'll, I'll show videos from YouTubers that I know that won't give me a um, copyright strike. Um, that are friends of mine. But like if it's a, it's another channel that I don't know. I can't do it anymore because they might do a um, copyright claim on me. Someone fix Outrun on the ST. I will put the link in the chat so people can check it out if they want. Or made it better. Um, I, I've seen... A, I'll show a thumbnail. <laughs> If people want to see that, you can see that the difference between the Atari ST original version. I can't show it running, but you can see that the graphical update on the right there. I can, see, I can show us like a still shot. That's what Pat McNulls wanted to show everyone. I can't show the video running though, because I might they might claim me on it or something and get the stream taken down and uh, too too much our sake. Thank you, Pat Mick. Thank you. For the people interested, there's a link in the chat if anyone wants to, wants to bookmark it. Right. Uh, let me catch up the chat there, actually. I, did, I have been playing for a while there. I missed a lot there. Um, in the end, the business market did not say them the gaming side could have so, uh, so serve, serves them right for being stupidly short sighted. To be fair, Anna, they Amstrad did end up making most of their money in the business market. It's the PCW that really made ended up making them more money than the I think the CPC range, and then they made and then made absolute fortunes in the PC market. But it was their fail. One of their PCs um, with a bunch of duff hard disks, I think it was. Which cost them their reputation, which it wasn't their fault. Um, it was the supplier. Um, suddenly, they had a massive downturn in their fortunes thanks to that, and they end up like in big trouble. Amstrad. Hey, it's a long story. Um, so that's an older comment there, Anna. But yeah, and they kind of tried to make some money from the, four, the plus range, the GX four thousand. That didn't work out, and then kind of, kind of Amstrad were in trouble then in the nine, going into the nineties. Mm. Anyway, um, uh, I want to say the Atari ST version of Outrun is fixed if the patch only has literal overclock in the CPU. Oh, is that what they're doing then, RetroQ? I don't quite know. They need to fix the Amstrad version of um, Outrun. <laughs> uh, Zypho, could you show a TV commercial for the launch of the CPC to celebrate its birthday? Yeah, I should be able to. I, I've got one on a video I did, so I'll be able, if I can find it, I'll show it after this. Remind me, Blue Planet. It's on one of my videos, and I can't, I won't get a claim for it then. Hopefully, <laughs> everyone's just so claim, claimy, claimy on YouTube these days. It's depressing, but I um, should be all right on my own video to use a clip of. <laughs> So remind me in a minute and I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Where was I now? Uh, here we are. We're actually in a bit of trouble here. I've got no turbos left. But it's two thirds of the way damaged. And I've got um, 30 seconds.
All right, he's in the light blue. Damage level, so that's good. Bear down. Oh, one more hit, and he's a goner. Okay, pull over creek, we did it. We're good, we're good. You. Best thing about Amsterdam Outroad was the included audio cassette. That was bloody cheeky of you, gold. I suppose they're trying to add value, knowing how crap it was. Quite often, the products we see as good popular aren't where companies make most of their money. Same in arcades. All the real money was in the gambling type machines from many companies. That's true. I don't think the CPC range made Amsterdam the most money. It was in their PCs. Uh, Lord Sugar gets more excited over his PCW than he does his CPC often. Hold on, man. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I lost focus on the emulator. Sugar, I lost a few seconds there. That's not good. I forgot there's a bend. Right, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. No, this is not a good start to this level. It's airborne patrol. Vehicles turn right up ahead. Never thought that helicopter sprite looked that good with its blades. Its helicopter blades look kind of weird for... Sugar is a, is a poo pole, is he? Ah, he's an in, he's an interesting character. His views, a lot of his views are in the Stone Age. In a lot of ways, I can't help but like him. In other ways, it's like oh, face palm time. Right, oh god, right, we're gonna run out of time here. Oh, I I boosted at the wrong time. Oh my god, that was close. I think we're going to get wrecked on this level. Oh, yeah, actually, we did some good damage there. That's good. Good save there. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no. That was a waste of a turbo. Thirty seconds left. His damage is about. Oh, that was a bad one as well. So hit the pedestrian car, civilian car, whatever. Well, I need to be doing better than this. Oh, this is bad because that car's in the way. Don't turbo here. Oh! 
One more time. Four, three, two. Oh, that was so close. One second spare. One second spare. Good grave. Good grave. Not sure going to be doing alright for himself regardless. Yes. Yes. Now he's just basically making all his money in property, I suppose, and investing in other people and businesses. Chigger absolutely knows about business. Amstrad emailer. Lol. It almost kind of made sense at the time. But it was. I think it was a bit... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the emailer. Last level. Gotta catch up the chat though first. Um Let go, Mr. Driver. Pause there a second. Is your standard 70s barrow boy, says Zoe, who made big uh boss his views are in the Stone Age. <laughs> I would say all his views, just some of his views on women are uh, definitely in the Stone Age. Uh, um Interesting views on um, working from home when most of his money is in owning offices. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> of course, he wants uh, doesn't want people working from home. Bless him. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, anyway, no, I'll get to, I don't get too like uh, into his views and stuff. He, he can have his views. It's fine. What are two of his views on like women and like their rights about pregnancies and working and all that kind of stuff was a bit eek, I thought. But anyway, you know, he's entitled to his views and stuff. I can't help but like him though. But um, he does have a few face palm moments on his Twitter. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> At times. But, um, you know, got to respect him and what he's done with himself. Um, he's, he's worked hard and he deserves um, his rewards, you know. Overclocking the console, computer, CPU doesn't marry a in my opinion. Sure, it doesn't move smoother than you really do, but it becomes uncontrollable, which is distracting. I've never overclocked a PC in my life or um, a retro computer. I like, I, I like my, certainly my retro computer stock as they were where I can. As for my PC, I, I, I get scared of doing stuff like that, so I don't bother. OJBs, how you doing? Um, I saw you in the chat earlier, actually. You've been dirty lurking for most of it, I think. <laughs> how are you doing, mate? Um, what are his Stone Age views? I, 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 I mentioned a couple of them. Um, it, it, there's a couple of things related to women and how they should, like... Uh, what, in terms of their rights with... I don't, I don't really want to get into it, to be honest. Let's keep it light and fun. So, um, but as I've been playing this game, it's addicting to stop because it's good. I'm doing well, FC Den Hog. If I get, if I, if I, if I don't make it and and, and I get a game over, and do you want to continue? I'll stop. One credit. I was all, all I'm giving myself here. I'm not going to sit feeding in credits and, re and no snapshot reloads. And move on. Is weird am screen advertising board. I think they're doing quite well, Zoe. I, I think he has his son, doesn't he, running that. Sounds like a good little business for his son to take on doing. Yeah, he's doing okay with those boards. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was only famous for pointing at people and telling they're burning. <laughs> hey, GP. Good night, GP. Take care, my friend. Have a great weekend. See you soon, GP. Night, night, mate. Night, night. You're watching in VR. Mean VR. God, that must be scary. That must be scary, OJ. Right. All right. Let's go. Get up, boy. Take care, your GP. Have a lovely weekend, mate. Lots of love. Bloody hell. I was looking at chat there. Have I tried a speedrun record? I don't know. I might try a, a, a Twin Galaxies world record on this one day. I noticed there is one officially for this game on Twin Galaxies. Official world record uh, keepers. So I'd love to do that live one day. Put a camera in front of my Amstrad, real hardware. 
and go for an official world record. You know, King of Kong style. <laughs> right, that wasn't particularly fast how I did that there. That's not good. To get high scores in this game, you've got to take out the criminals as fast as possible. The turbo really early. Uh, when, once you reach the criminals, take them out as quick as possible. No! That was bad. That were... Ugh. Not good. Well, I've really muffed this up. We're going to have to turbo out of here. Oh no guys, I've let you down. I've let you down. I'm really Behind sorry. Up. I'll let myself up one continue. Alright, seems we're at the end here. Ah I said I wasn't gonna continue, but we didn't even catch up with the prim. Oh it's, oh, it's got a horrible right bend. Right, I remember this now. Oh, I landed on his roof pretty much there. I've got a couple of hits in there. So, I lied about only having one credit, but... <laughs> Okay, but if I don't take him out here, we will stop and move on. Okay, it's the last level, last criminal. Oh. Oh no, I used the turbo in the wrong place. It's after here I should have used it. Here. No, it's here I should have used it. Guys, I think I've just ruined it. And that's a horrible crash to have. We've screwed up. We've screwed up. We're not going to do it. This level is all about using that turbo in the right place, and I've used it twice. Last two turbos in the wrong place, and we won't have enough time to do it now. Oh. Oh, one more hit. No, he's got away. Oh, man. GG's. Oh, he's one more hit away. Oh, don't say I've let you down. No, I promised myself we'd move on. That was Chase HQ for you. I've one credited it on uh, stream before. You've seen me do it before. Let's get out the album's car and move on. <laughs> oh, wow. Nearly. Nearly. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, we got very, very, very close there. Got very, very close. Thanks to GG's. Thanks to the GG's. Ah, classic there. But you see what I needed to do there? I needed to use the turbo slightly later on when he got past the big long bend. And there's a hill and a big dip. And he sort of like took, it's like two hills. You sort of go out, go up a hill, there's a dip. You can almost jump over the, the, the hill and the dip with a turbo. Round the bend. 
Wait for the heal and the dip, then turbo out and use the turbo to smash into him on a nice long straight there. There you go. Robocop, please. <laughs> oh, that TV ad. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, how many years? Hang on a second. Ah, found it, found it. Okay. Right. So my Amstrad CPC 464 celebrating 30 years. I've got Buddy Larry in it. Darren Jones, the editor of Retro Gamer magazine. Steve Benway's in it. How many views is this on? It's on 15,000 views now. And I put this live on 15th of August 20, 2014. Bloody hell. This is my first big video. This is my first documentary. It's an hour-long documentary shot in the history of the Amstrad CPC 464. This is my first big video I ever really made to the channel and got me quite noticed. So if you've never seen this video, um, I recommend it. You want a good watch? Hang on, what's, what's going on with my copy and paste in here? Let's go. go. You never watched this video? Have a watch of it. It's my first big production videos I ever did. It's shown its age now, but anyway, the video you're talking about, Blue Planet, is in this one. Wouldn't it be nice if your home computer was ready to use as soon as you got it home? And wouldn't it be wonderful if it came with its own green screen or full color monitor and on the so you didn't have to steal the television to use it? The Amstrad CPC four six four. A complete home computer. In June of 2014, oh. the Amstrad. There you go. Um, that was the original TV advert. That was bloody hard to find. I'll play it again. Actually, where was it here? There you go. Wouldn't it be nice if your home computer was ready to use as soon as you got it home? Some and bloody watermark over it. If it came with its own green screen or full colour monitor, so you didn't have to steal the television to use it. There you go. The Amstrad CPC. Once is enough. The complete home computer. In June. There you go. <laughs> that was hard to find. I only want. Uh, yeah. Someone put a bloody... I think one person uploaded it to YouTube and years ago. I, I had to take it off. I think I had to record it off his YouTube channel. <laughs> and he had a bloody watermark all the way across the bloody video, the git. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I did actually dick it off someone's YouTube channel back in the day. When everyone was just taking stuff for everyone else's YouTube channels. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but, um, oh, my view count's been stuck for bloody ages. Sorry. Oops. Yes. Take that. And it's now on zero. Brilliant. Okay, come on. Um but yeah, yeah, that's it's very, very hard to find that advert now. There you go. Three four nine. Now it's now like three and yeah, it was reduced further in price from three four nine down to about two nine nine, I think. But yeah. Yeah, it's a very rare T V advert. It wasn't it wasn't shown that much. Let's see. Um oh yeah, what was the next game we were gonna do tonight? Uh, people requested a bit of Shinobi and Dizzy. Yeah. Um, oh, and also, how long does the original Dizzy take to beat? Is it, is it quite a, oh, hang on a sec. Is it quite a long game, the original Dizzy? Robocop. We've, we've done that enough, haven't we? <laughs> um... Let me have a look. Where's the original? I'm just looking at the original Dizzy on CPC Power. Renegade Free. Hello, Nintendo. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. Welcome. What's the solution for the original Dizzy? All right, I've got it on there. Well, I suppose we've got to have a little look at the original Dizzy. 
We've got to give it a shout. The reason why we're bringing up Dizzy is because, well, it was made for uh, and made on an Amstrad. Is it 20 minutes to beat it? Alright, we'll just play until we die. I think, oh god, you get the number of lives, don't you? The Oliver Twins, actually, I think they used a 664, did they, to make this? We should boil for three minutes, done. <laughs> Good morning, Nintendo. Visual Dizzy isn't too low if you know what you're doing. He doesn't have any of the collect all the coins stuff, like you can only carry one object. Oh, really? Definitely land with like some fruit machine. Real earworm this. Hello again, Moosa. New graphics version of Shinobi. I hated that updated version. Some tried to do the um, reworked tiles. I think it made it look worse, Jonah. Didn't you? I don't know. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I've got the solution. Hang on. How do you jump? Oh, you have to jump on the pot, don't you? Let's go left into the village. Oh, I need to change my fire button here. Hang on. Uh, left. You can't jump through the spider's thing, can you? Ah! So, the reason why we put up Dizzy here is because Dizzy originated on an Amstrad. Dizzy was made, um, coded and designed on an Amstrad. And he's one now, one of the most pop. Hang on. Uh, put the grease gun next to the cart. Oh, we got a life there. Cool. Alright, done the first thing there. We picked up the grease gun and uh, dropped it next to the cart. Now we've got to enter the, enter the mine and get the Ghost Hunter's laser. Now, I guess that's just why we're showing Dizzy here in respect to the Amstrad because. It was designed on an Amstrad and went and um, was released for the Amstrad first and went on to spawn one of the, one of the biggest series of games on the 8 bits. Go right to get the Ghost Hunter laser, it says. Uh oh. Don't kill me, bats. How are we supposed to avoid these bloody things? Uh, go left, and then down. Kill the ghost by falling on top of it, okay. Uh, go right, and down, and collect the purse of gold, says... Oh, bloody hell. Right. Uh, get out of the mine. Go back to where you started. Oh no! Wrecked. On. Oh, oh no. This is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. All right, it's going up. The haunted. Chimney. Yeah. Right, okay. All right, we're out. I'm telling to hear your voice. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hang on. Thank you, thank thank you, Retro Name. I didn't realise it was so loud. I'm so sorry. Cheers. 
It's best to get the garlic before the laser. Oh. I'm, I'm reading the solution posted on CPC Power. And I think it's from Amsterdam Magazine. Right. Never mind. Go right to the old tree house. Stand on cup and get gold. It says here. I've only got one life left. So. Go right. Oh, hang on. So, go right to the old tree house, stand on cup and go get gold. Where's the tree house? Oh, hang on, do we need to... Oh, you, can, you can jump through that. Ah. Ah. Right. The garlic defeats the bats. Oh. That would make things a lot easier. Sorry. I didn't know that. Bloody hell. Hang on. If I remember correctly, this is a death pit, right? Ah! How'd you... How'd you get out? Yes, this is fine, death pit. You, you can't get out, you can only die now. Oh, thanks Oliver Twins. It's a trap! <laughs> oh well. Well, we had a little look at Dizzy there. There you go. Scrambled. Jump across left. I don't. It didn't let me at all. You now can't win. What is that egg monster thing on the on the plinth there to the right? That's bloody horrible. What a game. That's cool though. I know people like like to. It, it seems to be fashionable to bash on Dizzy a little bit, but like, what a great game. All right. Okay. So. Uh, it was requested a few times. Uh, Shinobi was requested several times. As uh, as promised, Shinobi. This is the screen that Eric gave everyone anxiety five lives, but one mistake there and you're done for. They make you cross it multiple times on purpose. It's clever design. Clever design? You think it's clever? Or is it just evil? I don't know. I don't know. Good old Dizzy. Ugh. Double Dragon 2 Zypho, Applin. We've got enough for requests to go on. We've also got to finish, do a music quiz. Um, finish off. Nice music on this. Oh, yes. Let me have a quick swig of water. is the pits. Dizzy and Billy Corgan are similar. They both get smashed. <laughs> All of those uh, Sega tunes. Oh yeah, hang on. Let me just put my fire button correct again. Mission I'll see if we've got time for Barbarian. Rescue the kids. Jump between the levels there. Now, 
graphically, maybe not the best in the world. I don't mind it. I think it's colourful. And I like colours. I like, well, I like it colourful. I like colours makes me sound a bit, I don't know, simple or something. But, um... What, why did he just suddenly collapse at the end? What the fart? No midnight resistance. What? Should there be, Anna? Why is there Spider-Man? I never understood that in the original game, but hey. Spooderman. Reported from the X and ST version. I can't remember what Richard Applin said. We had Richard Applin, the coder of this game, on the Amstream for an interview a few years back. What a dude he was. He was such a cool bloke. We gave him a really excellent interview. And, um... I think he said he ripped a lot of the, the assets from the uh, arcade board, uh, machine and board. Oh, arse biscuits. Um, or at least he tried. Oh, for God's sakes. I, th I think at least he tried to. Ow. Oh, arse. Why, why am I sucking here? Let's use the magic. Hang on. Ninja magic. Wool works as a magic eye image. <laughs> I can't get this right. What well, I used to get this. Why? Why am I struggling with this boss? I used to beat him all the time, like first time. Where's the right place to be? This is the original disc version. Where's the right place to stand? Wow, it's not the crack version, no. Wow! Some of the colours of the version do look wrong in places like there was an error. Oh, Magic Knight! Good night, Magic Knight! Take care, dude! Wow, I got properly wrecked there! Take care, Magic Knight. Have a great weekend. See you soon, buddy. And thanks for your support, as always. In the arcade version, the bosses actually get weak, weak each time you fail. Really? I'm having an another go. I don't remember the boss being that tough. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I was playing a, a crack version before that made the boss easier or something. He can stand right next to him hitting the head. Yeah, I remember maybe it's something like that. Magic bonus 5,000 points. Oh, Stephanie. Good night, Stephanie. Take care. And see you soon, hopefully. You take care of yourself. Have a lovely weekend. And see you soon. Right, I'll try and get through this quickly. 
But yes, I think you're right. You stand next. I think you stand really close to the boss. And his fireballs don't hit you. Fighting. Good night, Stephanie. Take care. Lovely to see you again. Have a great weekend. Ah. There you go. You were right. There you go. There you go. Batman, thank you. Oh, then the bonus stage. Colors look a bit weird on this as well, but that's how it was. Oh, we did it. Don't stand close to me, uh, stuck in your head. Sorry, Anna. His dying words were, I like colours. <laughs> <laughs> Never did get the Marilyn Monroe reference in Spider-Man. I know. Strange, strange Japanese game developers. This one over here. Look how fast the fastest place. It's not maybe the sm uh, smoothest of scrolls or frame rates or anything like that, but it, it, it does move move at a really nice fast pace. It's fun to play. What? He, he like literally knocked me over about three times there, but he didn't kill me. That's cool. I mean, who cares about it's not like 25 frames per second frame rates when it's this fast and fun. And that's the key thing you have to ask yourself. Is it fun to play? Hell yes. This is a great version of Shinobi. Graphically, not the best in the world. The music is good. The distance here. Go. What do we what do we think to this then boys and girls? Are we liking this version of Shinobi on the Amstrad? If you had to rate this out of ten for a conversion of Shinobi from the arcade, what what score out of ten would you give Shinobi on the Amstrad? Mr. Plu. Our rate ports don't have in-game music, really. Even the Commodore 64 didn't have music in game. Oh, running out of time. 25 seconds left. Oh, we did it. Alkay's not impressed. 6 out of 10. Robin gives it a 9. Anna, an 8 out of 10. Alkay, a 6. Bear in mind, this has everything from the arcade in as well. It does have all the bosses. Oh, controls are lovely on this, by the way. Really nice and tight and responsive controls. I just think graphically, it could have just been tidied up a bit better, that's all. I think what they tried to do was... I think they ripped the graphics and sprites from the arcade version to the Atari ST and then the Atari ST graphics have been ripped down to the Amstrad. What the hell happened there? 
Yeah, no, I just got da knocked down randomly, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. I was... They, it, all, it had already fired, actually. Oh, how was I supposed to avoid that? Done it. Kenobi versus Airwolf. Bloody hell. Right, I'll read your skills out properly in just a tick. Oh, this guy is going to get me. Oh, no. All right, all right. Oh, we might be screwed here. Oh, no. Oh, he's got me. Oh! Oh, we just did it. Got a bonus life. We're doing well here. Two out of ten needs more doggy. No, wait, that's Shadow Dancer. That's the sequel, Joni, you silly sausage. Mission three. Sample speech as well. Attack the logistics space. I think that might be missing if you got only got 64k of memory, by the way. Matt Myers gives it 9 out of 10. Uh, Mortis Decent, 8 out of 10. Blue Planet, 8 out of 10. Mo Musa gives it a 7. Batman, a 9. Alke, a 6. Anna, an 8. Robin, a 9 out of 10. Hmm. So mostly very positive. Very positive. I get a GG from Batman. Get some water inside me. You give Rock and Wrestle a 10 to your FC. Anyway, got any of the Sega Astro City Mini Arcade Cabs? I am te tempted by them, but no, I couldn't wait. I couldn't part any more money in retro stuff. And normally we, we would have some hidden ninjas appearing by now in the arcade version. They don't appear on the Amstrad yet. They will be soon. Go to next stage. Ah, here they are. Hidden ninjas. I thought I was a far enough distance there. Alright, we lost life to that. That's annoying. I can't rush as, as quickly now because of these little gits appearing. no sound at all in 64k oh really we should point out the shinobi is silent on the amateur 6464 unless you have an expansion of ram oops really we're, we're supposed to be celebrating the 464 all right we should probably oh ah, oh, so i wasn't concentrating The arcade game has the most fantastic collision section. Pixel perfect and distinguishes between weapons and bodies. Hmm. 
This is where it starts to get a bit tougher. Go right here. And so Anna takes a score down to 7 out of 10. <laughs> the lack of uh, music on the 464. Yeah, there is quite a lot going on. Be fitting in 64k, I suppose. Not a bad screen size either. Marine Ninja comes back. Oh, Spider Man! The fart! All right, should we move on to the next game? We're running out of time tonight, so... All right, let's see if this is any good. Uh... FC Den Haag was desperate for this one. I don't know if this is a classic for the 464, but this is Rock and Wrestle. I don't know if I know how to play this. But I, I, I'll only have a quick look at this because we've got, we've got to finish off the um, music quiz. Good uh, grief. Right. This. I've got the, I see if I've got the manual here. Uh oh god, there's a there's a huge manual for this. Right, okay. That was quite a lot. Jesus Christ, there's a huge, like, uh, instruction manual. Right. All right, I'm the guy in the purple at the bottom there. Fighting a guy with a, with a silly hat. All right, I'm kicking him in the nuts, I think. Put some music on. Pick up kick him in the nuts. Walking dead zombies in the crowd. <laughs> uh think he's stunned. Oh, I've picked him up! Quite cool animation, actually. I'm spinning him around. Oh, I've pinned him! Firing down. One, two, two, three. I've pinned him! Uh, oh, now the next wrestler. Oh, he's, oh, he's throwing me. <laughs> I'll fire and fall and then pull back and grab Oh he's spinning me around Oh we've both knocked each other down I think my energy must be the bottom right red bar then Oh no he's pinning me I've been pinned Oh we're back fighting this guy I have no idea what's happening. Oh, I've been spun around. 
Rip Big Daddy. This is a rock and wrestle. That's a bit for a very early game, wrestling game. Rock and wrestle is pretty good, to be honest. Oh! Oh, look at that. I do like the animation on the, and the sprites. They're very blocky. Like, how do I get up from this? Can't pin me. Can he? He has. He has pinned me. Quite ahead of its time for all the moves you could do. I looked at the manual. The manual has a huge amount of moves. There's a... Oh, he's, he's trying to... What's he trying to do? Oh! I don't know what that is. What, what move you call that, but like... Oh, he's got me. It's quite a cool little game, this. Oh! <laughs> you do a DDT in this game. I have no idea what one that, what that is. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I, 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 I've seen this game before, and I think we've played it on the AM stream before. Um, there is certainly a lot you can do in this game by the looks of it and the look of the manual huh? Oh, he's got me. Oh, he's spinning me around. I don't know how I thrashed his ass the first time, but yeah Right Oh, you spin me around like a record, baby That's joystick waggling. Oh! Oh, I think I've not... Oh, I got him up. Right. He didn't say... I couldn't see anything about joystick waggling in the manual, but... Kick him in the nuts. Seem to have stunned him. Hey, okay. Gotta go for the night. Good night, everyone. Good night, Zephyr. Great streamer, but. Okay, take care, dude. Thank you again, mate. Have a good one. Oh, come here. I got him. Oh, have a great weekend, Al. Okay, my fella Al, and I will see you soon, mate. I pick him up. There you go. Oof! Did I miss him? Oh, oh come here, you. Oh, he's got me. Oh, you git. Get up. Right, how did I pin him? Ah, no, I wanted to pin him. Right, okay, we kick him. To stun him. And then we grab him. And over. I don't know how you pin it. It was firing down before. Oh no, he's got me. Oh god. <laughs> Get wrecked here. Knee drop. Suplex. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, he's getting some strength back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's pinned me, and I'm out. The crowd is stunned. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing anything. He's hooking up. Not some more moving of right bit wrestling games. Yeah, this looks cool. This needs a bit more presentation. He just like goes back to like a rolling demo now. Um, you don't get any kind of like uh, any other screens telling you what's going on, like like a leaderboard or like uh, telling you what the next round is or who your fighter is and a leaderboard or a high score table or working your way up the ranks or anything like that they're done with some extra touches and presentation other than that it's pretty good all right we're running out of time tonight so um do we finish off the music quiz tonight are you ready with for that boys and girls It's no um bah barbarian. You want a quick barbarian? All right, a very quick barbarian. I'm running really short on time. We'll do the original barbarian rather than the remake one. Okay, quick barbarian. Ah, uh, what's the controls to keep the music going? Hang on. What's the controls to keep the music playing? F2 music. Yeah, there you go. Mode 1 is one player joystick. Why has it stopped? Uh, Spacebar to start a game. It's enter. Enter to change. Right, okay. I'm in. That's me. That's me fighting. Right, let's see if we can get a decapitation. So I'm in the grey. Fighting the guy in the pink. Oh, that was close. should have been a everybody wants that decapitation don't they ah oh. good luck this weekend with the, the crooked united so they did you a huge favor you reckon i think the united will be out for blood i think they to make up for that embarrassment 
I don't know. Thanks for good luck, though. We bloody need it. Come on, let's get that decapitation. Just rolling about being a git. I'm spamming the move I need for the decapitation. He's just wearing me down though. He's, he's going to beat me. I've only got two bits of energy left. Top left corner. He's going to win. <gasps> how, did not, how did that not... Oh, that made contact there, but it wasn't enough for the decapitation. Oh, I've got half a bit of energy left. Lipo Martinez out the season. Zidane out, Rashford out. Ooh. We might have a chance tomorrow. On oh, Sunday, actually, then. Boris, Boris versus Man United, we're talking about. He won, you son of a bitch. Tazong, how you doing, Tazong? Do you need to vary your moves? I thought you'll always parry if you repeat the move. I think it happens on later fighters, I thought, Musa. Later fighters. Yeah, I thought so. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I might have to, might have to try then. I'll try varying it. <gasps> Nearly had him. Hey! There we go. We gave the goblin head. <laughs> Finally. If I remember correctly, connect up maybe the first four guys at most, then it becomes impossible. Once they get good, the best way to win is roll them into the corner and kick them to death. Um, I think the first two guys, I would say, um, Anthony, the first two fighters, and then it becomes impossible to neck chop them. Well, flying neck chop them. Fight this guy, and then we'll, I think we'll probably, that'll do for Barbarian. That's, that's called the web of death, that move where you spin the sword there. Oh, we got another decapitation! Oh, blimey, that was lucky. Hey! Popped off. I know, I love that as well, Fenrir. The, uh, the goblin casually hoofs the head off screen there. I think it stops working from this fighter onwards, pretty much, I think, the headshot move. They'll try it. They're just too fast of counter moves, though, now. Right. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Holy moly.
Oh, he got me. And I'm out. Awesome soundtrack. Absolutely Musa. I agree. I got wrecked. Oh. Damn it. A valiant effort. Thank you, Blue Planet. Summon the goblin. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The last 10 minutes, then. We'll, um, oh, God. I'm, I'm running over time, then. The last 10 minutes, then. Um, we will finish off the music quiz. This or IK plus poll. No, we'll finish off the music quiz as promised. Right, we'll um Promise to come back for this. Actually I don't have much time left. I've got to finish for two tonight. So I promise I'll come back for this one, but I only have really like ten minutes left tonight though, so sorry about this. So we'll finish up on the uh, finish up a bit of a music finish the rest of the music quiz, but I don't have much time left tonight. So, do I pick a musician? Go for it. Go for him, for his musician. Let's do um, Ben Daglish. What else did he do? Ah, right. Okay. Okay. I know. Okay. Right. Let, I found a tune. I found a tune. Okay. So it's name that Am's tune time again. Okay. You should know how this works. Right. Okay. All right. Right, so we're going to go Ben Daglish, I think. Um, that's the only hint you're going to get. Right. Seven minutes remain. I better crack on then. Okay. So, line in the sand. And three, uh, music notes in the sand anyway. In three, two, one. Let's guess that game tune. First one in the, the first one in the chat gets it. Get gets the win. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Guess that game tune. What's this? What's this Amstrad game tune? Bloody hell, someone's already got it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Well done. Oh, hang on, sorry, hang on. Well done. Retro on limb. It was, it was hate. Hostile all-terrain encounter. I let you have it, you know you didn't put the dots in between the name like Arnie did. It was hate, well done. Retro on limb. Where are you? Are you even on the board yet? I don't think you were, were you? Well done. There you go. First point on the board. Well done, Retro on limb. Congrats, buddy. Well done. Well done. Alright. I'll find another one. Right, bear with. We'll do another Ben Daglish one. Hmm. Ooh, would this be? Would this be too hard or not? All right. Okay. Okay. I don't know. This could be this. This one's a bit obscure. Hmm. 
This one's a little bit obscure. Let's go for a hard one. All right, you ready, chat? You ready? This one's a little bit obscure. See if you can get this one. This is a bit evil. Three, two, one, go. Name that Ams tune. All right. Turn it up a little bit. Good luck. Oh my goodness! Several people have got it already! Jesus! Some people know their... Um, the Ben Daglish games. Good guesses there, Zoe, as well. You're, in a way, you're kind of close. In a weird way. It was Death Wish 3. I guess if you know this game, you know this tune very well. I even beat the game, which is not all people can say. I thought it just get loops on forever and ever, doesn't it, Arnie? But Arnie, you were the first with Death Wish 3. Yes, Death Wish 3. Plus one for you, Arnie. Well done, Arnie. Death Wish 3. Good lord. Was the game any good? It was kind of cool, Blue Planet, actually. I don't think the film was any good, was it? Well done. Death Wish 3 there. Alright. Let me find another one then. We'll do another, we'll do another Ben Dagleish one then. Maybe I'll do uh, an easier one. Although some people got that one very quickly. Right. Okay. And I pause up there. Let me uh, just check the music here. Oh no, actually that's too that's too short. All right, choosing a different one. Um, I think this will be too short. This music. Yeah, that one's too short. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm happy to change the game I had chosen. Uh, because it's too short. Do you want a really easy one? Do you want a really easy one? Actually. Yeah, I'll give you an easy one. I'll give you an easy one. I'll give you an easy one. Sure. Well, if you know it, you know it, basically. All right. Three, two, one. Blast of nostalgia. Go. Yeah, it's a very violent game, Death Wish. I think you might have got one. Mask. Retro on him. FC Den Haag, you finally got one. But Zoe, Game Hammer. You were the first one there. I'll have to ask, add you as a player. Sorry. Game, ha game Hammer. Classic gaming. There you are. Point on the board at last. 
Finally! <laughs> there you go. You're on the board, you're on the board. That was an easy one. What a bit of nostalgia for everyone, anyway, that was. Right, where's my... Shoot, where's that gone? There it is. Alright. Right, let me have a look for something else then. Maybe a slightly harder one. Oh, that's... No, oh, that'd be too hard. Uh, too easy. Ah, oh, I know one. I know one. Okay. Uh, this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Might be nostalgic for people as well. Okay, all right, I got one. I got one. Nice tune, this as well. Okay. Maybe too easy. Maybe too easy, this one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Guess that Am's tune. Too easy, right? Anna's theme tune. <laughs> Hello, Flibble. You're in trouble now. But that is this too easy? Although only three people have put an answer in, or well, two really, technically. Revenge of the Zedic Spectrum. Yes, it's the monsters. The monsters. Too easy, yeah? For people not who like not even bothering to answer. Well done, Retro on Limb. Retro on Limb. We've got another point on the board there. Two points. No worries, Flip. No worries. Yeah, that's probably too easy. I wanted, I wanted a couple of easy ones. Not Cauldron. Not Cauldron. Alright, maybe we've got time for a couple more, that, then we'll have to finish for tonight. Alright, let me find... Let me find something. We need to do something a little bit harder, then. Need to find something a little bit harder. Let's see. What can we find to really test you? That that those two were just too, they, were, they were just too easy. Too easy. Let's see. Um hmm. We maybe stick with Ben Dag Leash. Hmm. 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 These are proper obscure. Some of these are proper obscure. Hmm. All right, I'm going to make this one a little bit tougher. I may maybe make this one a little bit tougher. Okay, chat. Okay. All right. Are you, are you ready? This one's going to be a little bit... I'm, make, I'm making this one a little bit tougher. All right. Okay. In three, two, one... Go! Oh, this one 
deliberately slightly tougher. heating on because it's going a bit cold in the office. Zyphone's hot dog challenge. Just load it up the um, next track, next song. There's three songs in the game. And this is the third track, the third song. Now play the second song. So the first song you heard there is the second song in the game. Give you a close. We had time to recall earlier, actually, Zoe. Still, bet it's still a Ben Dagley song. We have a winner! We have a winner at last! FC Den Hog, you were close! Paul Johnson, you were very close there with that! It, sorry! It's Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge! Robin Hook got it! You recognise it if I play the first song? Lotus has already said. By who? Robin Hook got it! Did someone say it before Robin? Oh, well, Robin said Lotus, sorry. And he, then he later said Lotus a Spreet Turbo Challenge, yes. I, miss, I think I missed him just saying Lotus, because I was probably looking for Lotus a Spreet Turbo Challenge. Sorry, he did say Lotus on its own. Probably could have done with the full title, but yeah. I have said, uh, but, well, you weren't here, Flibble. But I did say I want full titles where possible. That's your fault, Flibble. Right, Robin, well done. You get an extra point there. Gives you a three. Well done, well done, Robin. You go into second place, and I think. Unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to... Um, lots of trouble, usually serious. What? Lots of trouble. Oh, dear. That's, I... It wasn't the same old goes to put Pornhub. No. Oh. Right. We're gonna, let's just put... A, I'll stop the music there for that one. Well done, Robin, going into second place there. But our winner tonight... Have I got my clap? I don't. I don't know if this will work. Actually, it sometimes goes horrendously wrong. Have we got? A, I think our winner tonight, though, 
is Batman 77 with a whopping five, um, correct, uh, five, 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 yeah, five points there. Well done, Batman 77. Let's give him a round of applause. I don't know if this will work. Hopefully it will. Yay! Congratulations, Batman 77. GG, Batman. GG. Well done, Batman. Congratulations, my friend. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh, I would like to have done more rounds to see if ever, ever people get some more points on the board and see if they could catch up to Batman. But I do have to finish. I promised Mrs. Cypher I'd finish by 2 o'clock tonight. It's now 10 past 2. So I've got to get up about 8 o'clock and I've had n next to no sleep today. I've had about two and a half hours sleep and I've got to get up about mm. 8 and i've had night shifts so uh i've got to, i've got to get to bed i'm afraid i'm sorry i'm sorry um so thank you everyone very 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 much um i better get to my outro there you came joint third along with arnie benry retro cube yes well done joint thirds there um Thank you, everyone. That's been fun tonight. I hope you've all enjoyed that. Um, let's go to where... Uh, where's my outro button? My outro button's finished. Okay, I found it. I found it. I'll have to go to my outro. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, I've had really good fun tonight. We've just uh, kept it loose tonight and just like gone with the, the flow and mixed it up a little bit. So I hope you've had a, I hope you had a fun night tonight. I've had. So cheers, guys. Thank you, Matt Myers. That's very kind of you to say so. Cheers. Uh, Batman 77 wins a private sauna weekend with an Ewok. With a GP. With a GP, not an Ewok. We're, we're sending over GP now in his rubber rubber costume. Or PVC. Who knows? Whatever he decides. Um, Blue Planet. Thank you. Thank you, Blue Planet. It's very kind of you to say so. Uh, Arnie says, no worries, catch what's the... Thanks for an awesome Friday night stream. Cheers, Arnie. Thank you, my friend. Jonah! Jonah. Cheers, dude. I think we got through all the songs tonight on the disc, I think. We will be using it again in the future. Um, just like, you know, when we got a bit of a gap to plug and all that kind of stuff, we'll fire up the disc and put some tunes on in the background and all that kind of stuff so thank you jonah that's a, a really really awesome kind thing you've done um did you say it's already on cpc power um the amstring music disc oh it is <laughs> amazing so the amstring music disc is actually already on cpc power if anybody wants to download it if um Right, and it's also in our Discord as well. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Um, that's there. Jonah, thank you very, very much for making that. That's a brilliant and awesome wicked uh, surprise and present for everyone to open. Today, celebrate the Amstrad PPC 464 birthday on the Amstream tonight. Awesome. Thank you, Jonah. That's really, really awesome you've done that. I'm really blown away by that. It's also in our Discord in the Amstream live sharing channel. I, I put a link to that in the general chat as well. If anybody wants to download the disc for the Amstream music disc thing and that Jonah made for us. Um, um, uh, Zoe Gamehammer, thank you again. Take care. Good night. I have a lovely weekend. Make sure you check out the Gamehammer on YouTube. She does awesome streams. Uh, thank you, Paul Henderson, Mr. Fenrir. Great soon, I've a great research at this one. Uh, oh, I need to get back to you in DMs and Discord. Sorry, mate, again. Cheers, dude. Um, nice, buried and chilled. Awesome stuff. Yes, nice chat as well tonight as well. Thank you, Fenrir. And always lovely messages from you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Fenrir. And all the best to Ellen as well. Lots of love to her. Robin Hogg. Thank you, uh, mate. All hell the CPC. Good night. Good night to you too, dude. Rest your limb. Cheers. Cheers, mate. What question has the cat piece smell gone? It has. Thank you. Christ for that. <laughs> uh, cheers, Sneaky Maud. Thank you, mate. Cheers, dude. Good lad, Flib. Good lad. Looking forward to the 40th. And we'll get the um, Sugars uh, stream um, soon set, sorted out as well. That's coming up. Thank you, Blue Planet. Uh, Nova Tug stream tomorrow at 10. 
So don't forget that uh, on Nova Bugs uh, channel. Uh, um, yeah, cheers, FC. Have a great weekend, mate. Enjoy yourself, dude. Right. Um, I'm going to be finishing off a new video, hopefully in the next few days. Um, so look out for that on the channel. And also look out for me on This Week in Retro podcast going live tomorrow on their YouTube channel at 10 a.m. in the morning. Me with, R me with RMC Neil, Dave Velociraptor and stuff like that. So check that out. Uh, cheers, FC. <laughs> yeah, it's Man U tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. You take care. Have a great weekend, everyone. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Good night. And uh, see you all soon. Good night. Bye. Bye.